The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Mike, 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 Mike. Are we starting calm today? Mike, check MPR one, podcast. two. I'm calm all day. I'm not playing. I'm calm today. How long, how long, how long you giving parks? Intro. No, no, I'm calm. Watch. For real. I know. It's, mm. it's, it's holiday weekend, so yeah, they say. True, true. I'm chilling. Theoretically. Shit is looking good out here. My man Ish, big Ish. Big Ish. Mm, 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 he mm, getting a snack mm, before he starts. Holla, <laughs> holla. He come in 30 minutes late and then go get a snack. <laughs> need some candy. Started. Water and candy. Come sit down with us, man. Candy water? Hey, you know what's so crazy? Ish has on a fitted. Oh, shit. <laughs> I figured you out today. No, nah, let's talk about it. You bought that shirt with that hat. Yeah. Because <laughs> the shirt is not iron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he iron. Yeah. Yes, you did. It's not iron. Just, but just sit down. We can tell. Sit down, sit nigga. Sit down with us. <laughs> it should have fitted or something I just else. The shirt. You look crazy. Oh, you must have been hanging out with your nephew uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he was hanging out with your nephew. What happened? They fucked up your haircut. You was hanging man? out with Reef. <laughs> Big Reef running around with the young boys. Yeah, where you was at? Nigga tried to match the shirt with the his hat. Nah, they fucked up his haircut. <laughs> I heard That's the funniest good. thing in the world about you while I was at dinner last night. And I would love to tease you about it. But if you're going to get mad at me. Who you was at dinner with? Uh, Nat and Rachel. I mean, I guess. Let's hear it. By all means. But other people might not find this funny. You kind of got to know-ish to know that this is the I feel funniest like, thing I feel like the world. listeners know-ish, you know? They don't know him like we know him. And y'all know him like I know him. I'm sitting there with Nat and Rachel. They're just like, yeah, man. We just seen Ish. We, 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 uh, no, we would tell you about our weekend last weekend, but you already know because we were with you Saturday mm -hmm. and we were with Ish on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So when people see my coals out, they just got to tell me. So I'm like, all right, that's dope. And that was it for me, because, but then they kept going. <laughs> they said, yeah, you came to the baby shower. I was like, oh, that, that's dope. It's like, yeah, but he didn't know the girl having the baby. I did. Oh, shit. He crashed the baby shower. <laughs> I said, but nah. I said, I said, wait, hold up. Because <laughs> even that's not weird to me. You might know the, the dude. The dude. dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. I said, well, maybe he knew the dude. They said, no, he didn't know the dude. I, know the dude too. I do know the dude. I said, then who ish just pulled up to the baby? <laughs> like a nice little baby shower. I said, who did he know? Yeah, yeah you know your man. <laughs> Wait, I said, so who is it? He knew someone that knew the dude. I know the dude and too. And they said the weirdest thing was he was still dressed in the theme. <laughs> I said, yo, you're not telling me that ish dressed for the theme of a baby shower, niggas. He don't know from a kid. Yo, you will not change, boy. This nigga is freaky such a... ass boy. Yo, yo, you need to write a, You need to be a writer. You the baby freaky shower ass crash boy, it, nigga. Yo, that's him though. That that's is so on no, brand for ish, yo. <laughs> fitted, fitted issues to yo, just pull up monster. nowhere near what took place. But all right, it's out looking me. mad good at the baby shower. That's a, white, a '90s nigga move. I had a white. That's a '90s nigga T-shirt. Nah, cause they be in there though. Come nice. on, man. We know the game. <laughs> we know the game. It's a '90s nigga move. See a couple of them walking in there. Like, <laughs> I'm headed to the baby shower. Yo, you got to change. Hey, yo, let me, let me, let me, I don't even know what you talk about. I, I know, but you have to change your way. He's you changing you right in front of us. Did First you take a gift all, to the baby shower? Let me explain. First of all, that's some cool <laughs> freak <laughs> ass boy. Picked up, picked up a gift real quick too. Dog. <laughs> One, you know the gift was cash. I didn't even know it was a baby shower. You know the gift was cash. I didn't know it was a baby shower. My man told me it was a birthday party. That my man wanted to talk business. He's like, "Yo, come up here." You know the talking well, business. You know the baby shower. No, you know the crazy. Crazy. You know my man. <laughs> <laughs> you know him too. But I, I we, just don't want to put a minute, but we got it. Yo, so again, my man like, "Yo, I need to holler at you about something." He like, "Yo, come through." I went over there. It was a baby shower mm, slash birthday party. Mm. So my man was like, "Yo, Stop. you know the nigga who birthday party it is." I, I went. I do know the dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. okay. So, so I, anyway, I go over there. I have the from a white T-shirt on and some sweatpants. Mm -hmm. so nice, I don't nice expensive ones, though. Does anybody oh, well. else think that this is hilarious? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious. <laughs> Hey, keep going. Baby. Keep crashing going. baby showers is hilarious. Oh, all right. That's the narrative. I <laughs> crashed the baby, baby shower <laughs> crasher. <laughs> Did you eat the food there? You know. Oh, wait. They How said the that, too. How the they said, well, that was the funny. What they I said, start. Can I talk? Oh, can I talk? Oh, can I talk? Good. I mean, we can take turns. That's it. That was the other funny thing. Like, he came right in and 
eight. That's not but he true. Stood, but he stood That's behind me. That's not true, me. though. They lying. I'm he not stood, mad at you. He stood behind me so they didn't see. He was fucking that fool. <laughs> I said, yo, so wait. So Ish popped up to a baby shower that he didn't know nobody there, dressed in the theme, ate a plate, and then boogied. <laughs> oh, shit. You the realest nigga alive. Now, the That's funny a- part is his alibi is he had to go talk business. No, that's some tactics. At, at the, the baby, baby shower. shower. Oh, boy, the business baby shower. There you go. Yo. You, you out of line, son. You, 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 you out of line. This, this nigga out. is the greatest at storytelling. This nigga like it. Slick Rick you and Dana Dane. You, and you did it. You I did not say that. I went to a birthday party. But then I got mad. I was like, why wouldn't it? And then we asked him the next one. Yo, what's up? How's your week, Cheryl? Worked. Worked. No, you didn't. Yeah, you was working. See? You was working. You probably got a car wash too, freak ass boy. Yeah, you was working. Freak ass boy. Crash your baby shower. Was, nigga. You got a car wash. Getting free no, meals. Nigga, it was a you got armor oil for the he baby was, shower. I had shit. on a white t shirt. Did you get Nut the ass, no, nigga. I didn't. It was spare the moment. Man. Spare of the moment. Oh, boy, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you had a moment to spare, right? <laughs> <laughs> the and you went in there as a podcaster. Do you nasty? They was like, oh shit. They were whispering. Is that him? Took that photos. That's you took photos. That's him. They yeah, he did. They were not whispering. None did you take pictures of the people? No, what, no, were no. there beautiful women there? They was like, I don't want to be disrespectful. They was all right. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the respectful. All right, all right, all right. All right. forget oh, it. God. We out. We done. We good. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're a legend, welcome. Man. Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> he's the best. OG. This nigga is so stupid. That nigga, yeah, that nigga know when, when to not be Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> he took all that Ishmael shit off at the baby shower. The meatballs, right? Nah. What was the best thing there? I baby shower meatballs in the Hall of Fame. I only ate one thing. What'd baby shower meatballs in the Hall of Fame. Uh, chicken parm. I was starving, my nigga. I so you went to the baby shower to get some shit from the pizza place. <laughs> uh, you a nah, freak. It was real chicken parm. Oh, right. see, he knew, yeah, he tasted it. Yeah. And again, I was like, yo, I feel funny. So, so your friends is like, nigga, eat. Yo, I, I coordinated the so whole thing. So they gassed you. Yeah, gassed me. Amped you right on up. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Went right in there and got yours. I, but it was I was there like 45 oh, minutes funny. before I ate anything. They're like I just walked in and started. Getting did you wear? Busy. Did you wear fitted? No, I wore a white t shirt and some sweatpants. Did you at least acknowledge the baby, the baby <laughs> mother and, yes, the, and yes, the guy? Yes, yes. Okay. I know the dude. You say hello to them. Yeah. You know one of the dudes there, right? Somebody. I know the, the <laughs> father. father. Oh, okay. Yo, you ignorant. <laughs> yo, you the father's my man. You ignorant, yo. Are you about to start wearing fittings again? No. If they coming back, let me know. I'll go to fucking lids right now. No. <laughs> I went to yes spot. What's my spot? I don't even remember no more. Where the niggas used to be changing the things. No, I thought that spot is not even there no more. Oh, nigga, he moved down the street. Oh, okay, down the street then. Oh, then I might go in there. Yeah, I little, might try to bring fitters back. Look at you. You trying to look. You must be another baby shower coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This nigga looking extra young. Yeah, this nigga so stupid. What's I wrong? mean, these She's girls have these fresh babies. Oh, yeah. Fitted heads cost $60. They do. What did Excuse you think? Me? What did you think they cost? That's about right. Shit, I, I haven't like bought I used... one in a while, yeah. but they, they was expensive when I stopped. Yeah, it was last like time 50, I bought a, yeah, oh, last, no. last time I bought a fitted, that shit was thirty bucks. That shit was thirty dollars. Nah. And when the nigga told me thirty, I was like thirty. You got to stop buying them at the barbershop, ice. <laughs> you buy buy your fitted from from <laughs> New Fera. <Farrah. laughs> <laughs> new New Fera. <laughs> Yo, dog, he fucked me up. He said, "See, I like whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what you mean sixty? I only got one. He said, "Dog, <laughs> they sixty five seventy. I'm." Plugging. Trying to look out for you. Then Jay, JR said, yo, I got the pink bottom. If it's the pink bottom, they $70. I said, oh, yeah, it's a pink bottom. Yeah, yeah, he hooked you up. I said, yo, you niggas, it's crazy. $60 fitted? Yeah. That's about right. Inflation, nigga. That's what you be paying? Yes. Sheesh. Well, I could tell you how you get his, but it'll start a fight. <laughs> no. <laughs> it'll start a fight, and I'm not trying to wind him up. No, I'm chilling today. You try to say I get it for free. Packages. Skit. <laughs> Big packages. Skit. Yeah, no, I don't. Box. It's cool. <laughs> Trailer Lord. Gosh, with Yo, you. Flip, man. You hit a million, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No, You're a millionaire. Nah, we're not going to start with that yet. Yeah, bro. I don't need no clap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to get, no, get this shit off. Get this shit off. Yeah, get this shit off. Man. Yeah. A million what? Uh, subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to keep going. No doubt. He gonna stop. I didn't say <laughs> nothing, man. I didn't stop. say nothing. I'm happy for you. I was the first one to like your shit. 38 seconds in. <laughs> Don't won. play with me. He Don't play with me. I show support. You, you did. I appreciate that. But I knew what you were saying. You said, I see you, nigga. I knew. I read through that whole subliminal. I ain't like that. <laughs> Wait, that was a subliminal? <laughs> yeah. Me liking it? 38 seconds in, I see everything you do. I don't like that shit. Yeah, don't play. <laughs> <laughs> I want to block you. What the fuck you. is going on? A million what, dog? <laughs> 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 I was happy for you. That's a big thing. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank YouTube you, going to send a little plaque over. I don't think they ever sent me mine, but whatever. Thank you. Thank Shout out to YouTube, man. Yeah.
Shout out to you two. M4 is back in the house. She looks amazing. Thank you. I missed you guys. It's the six. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank How you. I missed you guys. We miss you too. Got a Canadian right. shirt. I like that. You know why? Because it's Canada Day. Oh, y'all fucking shit up though. Look at outside. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong day. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. Are we still rolling with that lie? <laughs> man, yeah, yeah. we still rolling with the Canada wild, oh, man. wildfires yeah. is fucking up the New York like, air. Yeah, if it's they Canada, I've it never it. heard of Canada Day. I me either. You're really? Your own day. Canada Day here in the states or Canada Day no, in I, Canada? Obviously, it's Canada Day in Canada. Oh God! It's Canada celebrating shout their out. independence. Shout out to you. Okay. Exactly. Got it, so man. I got to shout out my countrymen. <laughs> you do. Still That's why I'm wearing the T-shirt. She is a bit of Canada. So y'all should happen on June. Y'all should happen on June 30th. Huh? No, no, it's July 1st when this show will air. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Mm. Three days later, America got their independence, huh? Mm. One thing kind of has nothing to do gotcha. with the other, you know. We're, so they say. It bullshit. really actually doesn't. We got our independence like com like uh, maybe a hundred years after America. Like it's a completely different story. Got you. So shout out to Canada. July 1st. Yeah. July 1st, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And that's not. Yeah. Well, on the opposing side of you buying $60 hats, you could be like me. Mm -hmm. $1,000 hats. Who went? No. Hand, no, just hand, don't go there. Uh, I don't like how y'all try to pay me out. I don't <laughs> you like got, you got $1,000 hats? Stop. You, you here come you. He's the first one. <laughs> He's always the first he one to do it. it. But you're the first one. All of them. But I guess I started with you. It was fine. Um, <laughs> no. You go completely bald. As you age, uh -huh. you want to save your money on... Just shit like hats. Haircuts. You don't oh. want to stop relying on a hat. Well, I still get a cut, but this morning I went in there trying to get extra sexy for everybody today and oh, fucking thank you. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Nick myself like on the side right here. I took like a huge chunk of skin hey, out of the right side of my head. I guess yeah, you can see yeah, that. This nigga is constant over Because I was shaving. <laughs> Got a lobotomy. <laughs> I don't think it's fair that on the commercials only the white people use the little big razor things. I went mm. to the supermarket, grabbed a whole bunch of them shits, some shaving gel shit, put it on, and I was getting so good at it. Like the front was so smooth. I had the music on Bluetooth. It was too. It was it. too much of a vibe. Well, well, you know this nigga clumsy. He probably tripped. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I went too fast in the wrong direction. Oh. Uh. And then blood just started pouring everywhere in, in my in my bathroom. Look like Carrie. And you found yeah, and you I found like the Carrie. biggest exactly. band aid on earth. Well, no, actually, in Joe Budden fashion, I went in there and pulled out a butterfly, mm. and I put a butterfly <laughs> on top of the huge chunk missing from that my shit head. Soaked up. Mm. I, there's no padding under there. I didn't put no ointment. I just put the butterfly because I'm not a doctor. And what happened was Carrie won. The blood just kind of gushed the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was deep because I can see yeah, can the see blood. It. See it. No, it's real deep. Ooh. Deeper than the pussy of a bitch six feet. No, for okay. real. Honestly. So I took the butterfly off. It was all soggy and shit. And I put some ointment and I grabbed the biggest shit I could find, Pause. And you should have done the whole did you put like Did you put hydro peroxide or alcohol to clean the cut? Uh, no. Okay, we figured. <laughs> figured. No. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's why you be getting them headaches, nigga, doing dumb shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Clean your cuts. <laughs> you got gangrene on your head, nigga. <laughs> your cuts. Clean your cut. You think health is like a to uh, topic to joke on on the pod? <laughs> I'm just asking so I can get on your page. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got to see a neurologist. I made an appointment this morning. You gonna come here and joke about my headaches? <laughs> we worried about you. <laughs> you do everything else by these fancy ass shirts, pants, hats, thousand dollars, but take care of your health. I'm we on your ass. We on you. No, nobody's on my ass. Yeah, Cause we know you ain't get Bottega ain't sponsored that, did they? <laughs> no, you bought it. Rich snicker, huh? Go buy yourself a fucking appointment. <laughs> oh shit! No, this okay, <laughs> he's shooting at you. Yeah, he's not gonna shoot back. Fuck him. Oh. Fuck back. Hey, he get mad when you care about him. I've never seen no shit like that. Throw a Frank at this nigga. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right, let's see. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Let me get our drops out the way. What episode is this? 640, I believe. 600 is moving. Uh, mm -hmm. 640. 
Welcome to episode 640 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favorite host, Joe Budden, here with a few really good people. Big M4 is here, Flip is here, Ish is here, Ice is here, Parks is here, Poe is here, Corey is here, Erickson is here, and we have our people working remote. Salute to y'all as well. How's everybody doing? How y'all feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Uh, weekend plans, 4th of July weekend, July 1st, finally. July 1st, finally, the first is here. A little beach action, that's it. Ain't doing nothing. I'm going upstate to see the family, man. All right. All right. You going to the beach? Yeah. This nigga see the family a lot with that Benz. <laughs> <laughs> see his family. Comfortable ride he now. see his family a lot now. Okay, we got now. a family trip, a beach <laughs> trip, uh, a baby shower. <laughs> flip, what, flip, what you getting into this weekend? Anything? Yeah. Just working, skits and stuff. Okay, okay, Mel. Mm -hmm. Canada? Um, probably gonna hit Central Park. What type of fireworks y'all do? Uh, you, put the, you put the maple leaf in the sky and shit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do that. We do that. Um, no, but I'm just gonna, you know, run around the city and just, like, have a lot of fun. I've got some friends in from L.A., so nice. I'm gonna play, like, Hostess. Okay. okay. I think that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's gonna Big be some chill stuff. How about you, Joey? Any turnips? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm gonna run around with my son. Uh, I think Monday, Monday I'll do something. Okay. I'll figure, that figure fireworks. It out. Mm -hmm. uh, no, the air's already fucked up over here. Word. I went to see the fireworks <laughs> last, yesterday. Last thing we need. Double down on the nasty air. Where did you see fireworks? The story does them uh, early. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's the park. It was packed. Yeah. Yeah, that part. I like when they do that. That shit was rocking. Yeah, so it's, it's, nice, nice. it's nice over there. That shit was rocking. They got First the little over there the other day. Froze spot around the corner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Love a good froze. Mm -hmm. yeah, put the little rum on top. That shit, you'd be Ooh. twisted a little bit. That sounds like a, a blast. A lot of it. A lot of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a vibe. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find a cookout or some somewhere to go to. Mm -hmm. Do they do fireworks on the Hudson? Yeah. They every, do? Every year. Okay. Sometimes they do it no, on, they the, don't. on the no? east sometimes. They do on the east now. Yeah. Okay. I think they alternate. More than that, even. They used to, I thought that they used to alternate them one year in the east and one year over here, but we just stopped really getting them. Because they, well, they also do downtown too. Yeah, they do downtown they, too now. I think they alternate between like four spots basically. <clears throat> That's how it used to be anyway. I don't know how it is today. Last year I went to uh, one of them tall ass buildings in the city. Oh, that, that and, clears it up. And uh, <laughs> I forgot the building, but you could see them from like the top floor. It was mm. fire. They charge mad Sounds rent wealthy, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit of expensive shit to just watch some fireworks, but it was kind of fly. It's giving opulence. It was the uh, East River. Yeah. They haven't been out here in a couple years. I didn't know it was that long. Though. Yeah, no, it's been a little while. Um, What's important? Oh, shit, actually, before we start, I, I will tell y'all how stupid I am. I recently <laughs> just learned, don't judge me, it's a safe space. I recently just learned that you could order something on Uber Eats mm -hmm. and then order something else before that other thing gets there to you. Mm -hmm. A little appetizer? I didn't know that. No, like a... a like, oh, like a, a whole like separate a, order. Yeah, a yes, whole separate order. a whole separate place. You couldn't yeah. do that before. No, it's new. Okay. Fairly new. You definitely couldn't do that before. Yeah. I was always treating it like the regular Uber, like waiting for the meal to get there before you could order out, but I'm stupid and slow, so... Hmm. Yeah. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Also, Peter Luger and Carbones have lost a Michelin star. It's oh, really damn. big, really big news for me. Mm. I don't know why. Does that change how you're... Gonna go there? Will you not go there? The other two spots I don't. I don't really frequent like that as well. Okay. But every now and then, Carbone's nice. Okay. I've never been. I've been to Peter. Did you lose a star? The fuck is going on back there? The butcher. What you? What are you doing over there? Yeah. Just thought thought that would be important for somebody out there. They didn't feel like paying for it this year. A lot of people didn't feel like paying. A lot of people didn't feel like paying. Everybody taking all their money, running the F one. <laughs> um, here, here's what I will start with though over uh, the last few days video went viral of two strippers getting robbed at gunpoint after working BET weekend one of the ladies put out a long caption saying how listen this is really hurtful for me I don't fuck I don't suck I don't have some guy that pays for everything I really take care of myself and this hurts it's a huge setback and wow that's what she said. Which one of them oh, put it up? She also said, I think it's the one that said, I was laughing because I was so caught off guard. I had no idea. Wait, she was laughing during the robbery? One of them was laughing. The one in the I green. didn't keep track of who posted what, but one of them had a little, a little smirk smile on the face. face. But I wanted to ask you gentlemen <laughs> and lady, if you were ever down really, really, really bad, like really down bad, 
would you rob the, the strippers? No. No. <laughs> I don't think so. The strippers get robbed in the hood all the time. You know what I'm saying? We've seen it. They get robbed all the time. They get their bags taken. Um, but nah, I wouldn't do it. That's the norm? It in happens. In the hood, yeah. Please really? expound on why you would. Niggas, go, why, why would it? Anybody that said no, expound on why. Tell me. I wouldn't do it because where I came from. I just think it's bummy shit to rob a stripper. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm not blocking my face if I'm going to rob somebody. I want you to see me. I'm on some ignorant nigga shit. It doesn't seem like good nigga uh, shit. criminal oh, etiquette. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm on Yo. some nigga shit. I want you to know it's me. <laughs> For real, what? <laughs> yeah, I want you yeah, to know it's me. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Know where it's coming from. You got to go to jail and they drop somewhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and, and, and yeah. you're not supposed to rob strippers. You're supposed to rob niggas. That, well, and then now niggas mm-hmm. is telling anyway, so it's different. But you're not supposed to rob strippers and girls and old ladies and kids. You're not supposed to rob. They're off limits. Since when? You're supposed to rob somebody I know who's when. in the same field as you. So, you know, so you know what time it is. Since, oh, since when? Yeah, y'all. y'all oh, There's, a ahead, right. There's a lot of rules to this. What? There's a lot of I, I you be trying to hype. You be trying to hype. Answer my question. Inside shit. Ice is talking to you. Yeah, yeah, right, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm talking fine. about inside shit. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Since when? What year did that happen? Forever, Forever. nigga. That's the code, yeah. correct? You're right. Man. Yes. He's right. Oh, man. He's right. But- I am right. I wouldn't give a fuck if we're pregnant. I want the baby rings and your number one mom pinned it. That was Biggie 94. It's rap. It- Niggas wasn't doing Oh so now we saying Niggas yeah, was rapping yeah. About shit they wasn't doing <laughs> Is love, that what we saying I love it here yo yeah. they, be killing us. Okay. they be killing us For so our, our that, hypothetical I, Ethical street No they, street they, laws, they, Criminal listen, laws listen, Everybody is I not think a, they can kill you When you can obviously Tell a lie Like if you down it. Bad enough Okay And you watch a girl Make 10,000 In two hours In front of you While you at the strip club Crying Cause everything's Being repossessed no thought is going to enter your brain about following the girl over and robbing her. No, not like that. I didn't say hurt her. You asked not him. Like that. Not, I mean, I asked not the like room, that. but his, his like, response is... It's two different type of robberies. Yeah. A, nigga like, a nigga like Ish may be cool with her smasher and take a couple of thousand. He may get paid. Ish going to run up on... <laughs> Where's the baby shower? <laughs> <laughs> Ish may get paid. You can get it, Ish. I'm not robbing her. Ish, I, you I smooth. Don't, I, don't, I can see you getting six thousand from a stripper. Your fucking mom. What? I can light, see you talking the bitch out of her money. Little, little four grand. Hey, yo, look, no, this no. Is, let's invest. If it, but you, <laughs> you lost all your property, <laughs> Ish. You lost all your property, Ish, man. But four it's four thousand. One. You can get six doors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know you're gonna talk about doors. There's a multifamfamily right in Essex. We could get it. It's available. I'll bring you in the morning. Give me the six. Give me the D O V D O A. I can. You can get the title right now. <laughs> some niggas, but I, all right, so all y'all got morals, and y'all wouldn't do that. No, no, no. Some. No, I, I just would, don't believe in robbing people. Yeah, I wouldn't do yeah. it. I wouldn't do it. I rob, of, a, I rob a store or a, 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 a organization. It's different to me. They don't have as much money there. I'm not robbing nobody. Period. Mm. I just don't believe in. Still What's the difference in robbing? Tell me. I believe that if you still like, let's say the strippers. Not trying to be funny. Let's say the strippers. All right. This really, really was a fun topic. I'm I know. I'm I'm you sure. asking me a question. Well, you asking me what's the now. difference? Yo, if you robbed the stripper, it, it got repercussions. Like her kids now suffer. Okay, if I yo, rob the right. store, I'm good. I oh, can rob Macy's oh, or Nordstrom's or Saks or some shit. They got insurance. All right, you got it. You got it. <laughs> so we ain't. We ain't. All right, well, all right. What else is going Robin on? Robbing the laws. So, what else? No, 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 just forget it. <laughs> so we we we, we ain't we ain't gonna um, unpack this. With the strippers, please. We're unpack the no. strippers. Right. Well, if you'd like to, please. Because she was smiling. I feel like it was the setup. I feel like she set it up. I feel like she set it up. Of people feel like that. Yeah, she was smiling. The one in the green was smiling. You could tell the one with the multicolored hair. This is all alleged. She was caught off guard. She was shocked. She didn't know what to do. But the one in the green, she was smiling like. Mm-hmm. She's a little too calm. Yeah, too, way too calm. Like she it, way too anticipated calm. it or something. And they knew where the bag was. See, that's the first mistake. They knew where the bag was. He came. He asked a question. She and on top of that, like, well, the bag was in public viewing. No, yeah. hold on, it was two bags. They both it was, was in it, sight. It, 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 yes, they both was in sight. But niggas ain't. I guess some niggas are taking everything. This is how I feel. She gave her homegirl to carry everything, nigga. You carry all the bags and all that shit. You notice that the bitch in the green, the biggest, the biggest one, didn't carry shit. Her stupid ass purse and a phone. Mm. So you set your friend up to do that. That's the first mistake, idiot, when you setting some shit up. 
You got to act like you a part of it. What I will say, as far as far as the I'm setup, tired. I'm tired. They, they did come take all the bags from the one girl and turn around to leave, and then they remembered they had to get the other. Hey, get them, get up, get, get a us phone. your get a phone. Yeah, you got to get us your two. Yeah, yeah. I know we know it, but go ahead. <laughs> make it look real. Make it look real. Go get oh, us your two. Yo, that's hilarious. Oh, do, they got her phone. Do we do a GoFundMe for strippers, though, Joe? Mm. <laughs> I do all the time. That's <laughs> what I was about to say. I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, do we feel bad? Like, the we Joe fund me. We w- <laughs> Joe, fun, Joe fund me. Here this guy go. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> That shit was good, boss. <laughs> he do do that shit. The nigga said last week that this week, last part that it depends on what they're going through, how much money he gonna give them. He said I started to look at their couches, look at their living assessments. That's what you said. I know. That's fire to me. Well, thank you. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you a hell nigga. Say so you don't give a fuck. I tried to trick, but it don't work. I get an Does anyone else have anything on the, the, the strippers being robbed? Nah. Thoughts and prayers, man. Thoughts yeah. and prayers. Wow. I, we would like to start a joke fund me for her, Joe. We who? <laughs> I'm exiting and ignoring <laughs> everything that you're saying <laughs> about this. Uh, we going to start. Music? Yeah, let's get music in. Let's start with music, man. My man Drake did not drop. Disappointed. Mm. That's the end of my. <laughs> that's the end of my shit. <laughs> I waited for one thing and one thing only, man. He ain't drop. He pump faked us a little bit. You got by the book? Is that what it is? I read. Hey, I see. I seen people. Oh my god, the poets on Twitter. Did y'all see a thread? <laughs> nah, they tight. The poets on Twitter were slamming Drake's book. <laughs> they were. They were. They were criticizing the poetry book. <laughs> And it was a video. Apparently, it's like one sentence per page. Other haikus. N- not even if it's one sentence. If it's page, one sentence, that ain't no haiku. It's a fucking lie. <laughs> you lying? Yeah, I would find it, but it's shit like they were killing him. Yes. Yes. That's art. Yeah. yeah. That's art. Uh, but Drake didn't drop. I'm not sure why he didn't drop, but it's fine. Lil Uzi dropped. Mm. Mm. I ain't listened to it yet. That's all. Hour that, and a half. That was all the fuss. That was all a rave. I said it was a rollout. What was? Shorty smacking him over the girl. Not, over Ice Spice. It's allegedly. not a rollout. No, that, nah. that, that wasn't a hit to the fa- Not that one. A hit with the phone to the face? Twice. Yeah, no. Nah. Bitch ass niggas in public. Yeah. And all of that. That's nah, a different type of rollout. It's not a rollout. Yeah. Nah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing about it. Put it past this young nigga. Uh, did y'all listen to it? No. Nah. I heard the first two songs. And? And then I played, put something else on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just was it, it was, no, you're, a you're, lot of music had dropped, right. and, and it was a long project. <laughs> so I was like, I can't. If I sit here and listen to all of this, mm-hmm. like I won't be able to hear everything else. So I just kind of jumped. So around. the first two songs did not motivate you to, to finish listening. I just wanted to hear everything else that dropped. Uh, That's all. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. sure. Short amount of time from when the music drops, sleep, and then getting in here. So what else dropped? <laughs> Mel, you <laughs> oh. okay. dropped the EP. Yeah, yeah Mel, you dropped. Front of the show. That's right. Okay. Arch oh. dropped Big Jersey 3. You know, I had oh. to play that. Mm. So you hadn't heard of V's drop. It's the stuff that dropped, I had to listen to. Mm. Okay. Did you hear it, Uzi? I, I did not. I'm scared by Elements Hour and a Half, personally. It's only maybe one or two people that can make me listen to a long album. And Same. Just... But yo, don't we critique the short albums? Who? I love the short album. Really? Mm. I do. I thought I heard y'all diss it before, but never. All right. Well, lucky for a few of you, I'm gonna play a few slaps. Oh, okay. okay. Let's get it. Here we go. I purchased this album mm. and played it in the morning when I woke up as I was getting ready for work. Okay. Right. Normally, that time slot is reserved for smooth tunes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. some smooth jazz or R&B. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. But when there's a huge rap release, I put it on so I can get ready. So I'm in the shower and I'm in the bathroom. And this is track one for you guys. Is this, it's before, called, this is called Flooded the Face. Is this before or after you split your wig? Uh, before. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, Uzi ins- in- in- yeah. motivated you to get a little turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Against get the grain on. I had another joke, but there's a trigger warning that goes with that one, so I'll just skip okay. it. Yeah. He inspired me to do a few things. Now, this is track one. I'm not mad at track one. Flooded the Face. I thought it was a real strong start to a project. Nigga, nigga said, came on and dressed in the gay rumors. Yeah, huh? that, that's so. what was, that shit was pressing on his mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how could they think I'm gay? Nigga. <laughs> Listen. This is hard. Yeah. I really enjoyed track one. 
This is hard. That's, that, that's nice. And Low bop. after that, it's nice. he must have had an off-road vehicle, left that course. Mm. Drove the Jeep totally somewhere different. You know how sometimes the Wi-Fi gets bad and then the navigation <laughs> have you going around. The- I played about eight or nine of these songs. I don't think I'm the demo. Mm, I'm going to play this song called Amped. Okay. Shout out to Amp. Shout out to Amp. Play this song called Amp Track 5. Okay. Okay. Yo. Well, hey, well at that point, I was glad that there was another bitch amped up. I wanted to throw my phone at him, too. <laughs> I so understand JT throwing a phone at this nigga multiple but, times. I, that yes. shit ain't sound bad. Oh, well, let me play it. <laughs> at this point, I almost slipped trying to get out the shower <laughs> and run to my phone. This is the part where I filled up my jacuzzi and took my Bluetooth speaker <laughs> and, threw it and in just there. threw it in there. <laughs> Look, he's whistling. It's just an intro. He's whistling. Look. Listen, this shit might go up at a festival, it but is. when I'm in the bathroom, <laughs> it don't really go up like that. Yeah, he's making like... Those are just pro- noises. Listen mm-hmm. to him. Is he coming? <laughs> <laughs> is he having an orgasm? <laughs> coming through the auto-tune is crazy. <laughs> hey, oh, what, what, what the fuck was that? <laughs> that, was, that Got a little yeah, feedback. Nah. A little feedback. Nah, nigga just wanted to do studio. some crack in the middle of the song. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 nigga. So... so can we throw that away? Like, that's- <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the song that comes on right after that. Okay. Futuristic. It sounds like music mm. that came on uh, Tetris. Metroid. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> the more futuristic sounds. <laughs> no, I'm the determiner of that little Uzi. You don't get to tell me this shit crack. Look at it. This is not good for my I, anxiety. I, I, I hate yeah. him. That's, that's hate him. really wearing on my anxiety. I'm too old mm. for this. I hate him. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't like the age. Not him no. personally. I'm too old for that. Not him personally. Mm. But... I've concluded enough. Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've heard enough. I've heard it. I'm, I don't. I don't know if I'll finish this one out. Someone could tell me the slaps if there's some slaps. I heard it. I'm never gonna listen to this. Yeah, I don't, again. That, I hope that the younger people that this is made for enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Are they gonna eat this up? That's it. And they wonder why mm-hmm. society's on the rise. That's it, though. He's catering to his family. I don't know if he necessarily making music for that particular demo. He making music for his demo. Mm-hmm. True. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck I'm looking for something That sound good Or don't sure. Something I can play again sure. Or not I'm happy for him He's getting all the money In the world yeah, I'm, separating, I'm separating music talks From business talks This will probably do well Like I'm having a music talk I'm sure this will do this well This will he, do he, well He crushes Every time he well. drops This so. will be an, I have no doubt That this will be The first number one Rap project But that's also my issue Is that is This is not a rap album? project Yep yeah, I don't know what so what is. does that really say to the messaging that Billboard is getting out there with that whole, I think there's important messaging in that. If they didn't think so, they wouldn't tell us every week. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's been no number one rap album. And now you get a, an album of, no disrespect, but sounds mm-hmm. as the number one rap album. That is, that's saying something. It's definitely saying something. You think Drake planned on dropping and then moved out the way? For Uzi? No. No. I don't think he moved out the way for Uzi. I've, I worded that wrong. Not move as in, oh shit, Uzi is there. But to maximize to maximize his output, I already moved it from my thugger date, which I wanted. Don't hurt me to move it another week hmm? to guess, help sell this book. And I do have this uh, award-winning poetry actor Drake's new poetry book. Uh, Hanif... Abidubu, I can't pronounce none of these guys' names. He says, really, it's kind of just a book of puns. Silly little jokes. Here goes one. No one is gaslighting you on one page. Mm-hmm. The other page says, you're just so toxic that you're flammable. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Drake's poems operate within an ex- excess of white space, a reduced set of images, and limited punctuation. Mm. That's mm. from Aris Keon. That's hate. Houston's current. That's hate. Yeah, man. How? I thought it was a real nice way to word your hate. It is. It's still hate. Don't Some of these us. are so absurd that they're actually funny. Here's another one. You love to get pretty for people on one page. Mm-hmm. The other page says, who don't know the truth about you. I think it's satire. <laughs> we got him. <'em. laughs> we fucking got him. Oh, my God. 
I sound like a um, it's a bar. I sound like Big Big's Instagram page, but <laughs> 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 but for the hoes, that's what he's doing. He's giving them captions. Where he, could, right. where he could push himself to indulge in the silliness and sentimentality that even the purest of poets would forgive, he disintegrates into petty abstractions and instead gives us lines like, you were in my dream last night. They call that a nightmare, right? Anyway, <laughs> clap, clap for the poet, not the scores. Yeah. It's hate. It's hate. Now I want to read it the book. It is a little hate, actually. Though. Yeah. It's it's hate. It is a little hate. This makes me want to read the book. And uh, let me get my cape. Where's my Aubrey cape? Um, and... Canada we've Day. been, we've been. <laughs> it's Canada Day. You are gonna make me say? You gonna make me say it, <laughs> make me say it next time? <laughs> Want me to say it? No. Say yes. It. No. Yes. Say it. Yes. We have Canadian listeners too. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you ever tell somebody Canadian about our American holiday? Tell me about the response you got. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> and tell you. Mm-hmm. No, we don't give a fuck about what y'all did <laughs> doing over there. <laughs> it's cool. Um, we've been stealing, people been stealing his captions forever. His yeah. lyrics and using his captions, I think it's yeah. smart to they put have. out a book with captions. Captions. Yeah. And it's hate because it's working for him. And then these poets like, yo, I don't get that shit. Because they shit ain't getting exactly. you know, uh-huh. it's hate. recognition. That butterfly, is, yeah. butterfly. My oh. butterfly book ain't sell no... No uh, copies. This nigga out here about to one be line the best, one line in them to death. Like New York bestseller list yeah. with some bullshit. Hey. Oh no, you're gonna be a bestseller. I exactly. I'm, yeah. I want to buy it. It's the and same shit. Sounds it. Bro, it's the same shit the purest rap niggas do when a Uzi album drops. Mm. Mm. They say it's just noise. It's the same shit. Yo, that ain't really this. This this, this ain't the real rap. Real this. Real that. And why sell it so much? Same shit. Hey, I want to hear the album though. Same. Me too. Mm. I want to know what he's doing on this project. What if the album is like the book? <laughs> it's just sentences well, in between sounds and then one line. What if the album's hidden in the book mm. with like an invisible QR code or something mm. like that? Nah, he's been trying then to he's gonna lose a shit ton of money. Yeah, he's not gonna re- regret much, that the yeah. second that he does it. Oh. Too much money behind. He's gonna sell his album. He's not gonna hide it in the bushes. Like, <laughs> I mean, like with a QR code that like for purchase. You know, maybe. Pos- I don't know. They don't want I think that this the book album. is satire. I don't think he's being serious. I think it's kind of a, a take on like young Pueblo. You know, because he uses up all, like, you know, condensed wording, lots of white space in his books and stuff like that. So I think that that's what this is. Okay. I think it's I could do whatever I want and niggas are going to buy it because mm-hmm. I'm me. And that so too. Here. Mm-hmm. And that too. He sold me. Yeah, I want the book. I want the book. Was there anything else in music? One of my favorite artists, we, he just celebrated 18 years of his debut album, Raheem Devon. Um, his album debut album was The Love Experience. It was Great a, project. A, I mean, it was an a, I consider it kind of a classic album. It, okay. had, it was it was no skips. Um, I love 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 that album. Was literally just playing it like three days ago before I even knew that it was like the 18th year that he was celebrating. And he celebrated with like another drop. So okay, um, is it like a he added some songs to it or something? No, 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 no. He dropped another album. Oh, so, new project. Yeah, he dropped a new okay. project. He dropped a new project. 18 years is interesting milestone. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Y'all been Not grown 20, now. Right? Y'all been grown now. Not 20. Ah, uh, I see it. I see. We celebrate 18 years, don't we? If we do. <laughs> That's a bar. That's so. a shout but congratulations. Shout, shout out to Ryan. Yeah. I love, lo- yeah. Shout out to him. That was like an incredible album, The Love Experience. Uh, for some reason, we forgot to, well, not for some reason, because we spoke about it on Patreon and then it, mm-hmm. but Jim and Push, now that that's kind of come and go, where do we stand? How do we feel? Opinions. I still want the Push song on my phone, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. To start with. Yeah, that's I want to start there. Funny. The song's not out. Yeah. It's the not. song that Jim replied to is not out. Took the beat and did his own shit on it. I and like somehow that. they Just were the still window. able to assess Jim's response as a response. Well, that's because they heard enough of the push. They heard enough. See, of, yeah, I stepped yeah, yeah. on that shit too soon. Yeah. That's what happened. All right, I'm hating. I'm just hating. I'm just hating. <laughs> that's it. Somebody say something. Get the hate off. How me. you hating? Because when he did it with Drake. Oh, uh, got you. That was Joe's move. I like what Jim did. Me I too. like what Jim did. Yeah. Me too. The entire audience knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw people. One, one thing I will say though is, I saw people not really cared about the music. This was who I like more. It was a lot of push can't rap better than Jim, so this is trash. 
Bro, that has nothing to do you with Jim. You mean Jim can't rap better me, than yeah. Push? Yes. Jim can't rap better than Push, so this is trash. And then there was mm-hmm. also the it's like Jim did more culturally than Push did. Yeah, it was everything but listening to this song versus well, the song that's not really out, but you can hear it that he's replying to. Just record versus record. I like what Jim did. Me, me too. too. Me too. I still give Round One to me Push too. though, personally. I don't because Round is only one record out. That's a loophole. It's an important loophole. If your record's not out yet, I mean, I want to hear how it sounds in my speakers. Yeah, I need to hear it, hear it. Even though I know what he said. <laughs> I heard the whole song. The guy's here. good. <laughs> the guy's good. Yeah. But Jim's response was a lot better than I, I thought it would be and could be. He showed up. No he question. did. He did what he was he supposed said, to He do. said a lot. And he replied to a lot that was said in that record, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He did. And I like the aggressiveness. I'm going to get my shit out first and shoot a video and all that shit. I like that. And I like that he countered the big uh, LV production with just the mic hanging from the air on the block in front of the bodega. Hip hop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to do it that yeah. way. I'm, I'm, you could do all of that grand stage shit. I'm going right back to hip hop right here on the block. Do you think you'll get around too? Absolutely. Um, I think. You're damn right. Do you think you'll get it in a timely manner? I guess. No. Let me say that. I think Push is going to drop when he's ready. Yeah. On some. This is at my leisure. What line do you think that Jim said might trigger Push to be upset? Maybe the malice. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think Push, is, I don't think push crack is upset. or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I, did, I, did, I did a brother one, yeah. Yeah, yeah you was still talking too greasy about my, my <laughs> he bro. He said, what happened to that boy? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Jim's He said a few things in there that was a little. The problem with that one, though, Malice can rap too now. <laughs> no, the problem. I ain't seen Malice in, in war. True. I don't care about rap skills in war. The problem with well, that I do. is, well, this, this, this I, is my problem with, with I, I care what he said. You have to have been in the war. The best rapper don't necessarily win the war. I'm not talking about Push versus Jim, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but if you're the greatest rapper in the world and you never engaged in that type of shit, then I don't know what you can say. I don't know what your brain thinks. I, don't, I just don't know. You just rap good. That ain't enough. Your pen is your pen, yo. That ain't enough. It ain't, what are you saying in between your rhyming words? What is your content? I'll be curious to see if Malice... They both put a lot of content between the rhyming words, which is why I think this is entertaining. It is. They were saying shit. I got two Yo, you never sold shit, none. You never, you never went up to Poppy. One, we asked before, did we think it would go left? I absolutely think Oh, this is going, going left. left. This yeah. is going left. A thousand percent. Oh, yeah, let's get to the real shit. This I'm is going left. It's going super This is going left. This is going to go all the way left. Um, the, the, the things, when Jim called in here, you know, he's like, hey, keep it music, keep it cute, don't do nothing crazy, don't say nothing too, too crazy, you know how I get. But once you start saying what he said about malice and bringing in, you know, you, you look like you was using and this, that, and the third, you opening the door for some shit to get yeah, said. true. You opened the door. So now, if he responds in the way that he could respond. Oh, you misunderstood he, what he said then. <laughs> I misunderstood? I think so. Him saying, yo, you know how I could get angry. That never said, I ain't about to totally disrespect you. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. But saying, but all it like, said was, said, you're going to have to acknowledge the fact that it could get that way with me. And it sounded like he's trying to usher him there. Yeah. Oh, he's trying right. to lead him to be disrespectful well, so he yeah. can react. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. It's a tactic. Mm. Okay. It's a tactic. But then why say, yo, we better keep it on music? That's the Because he got to say thing. that. Yeah, he has to. He got to say that. For morale purposes, he has to. You know what I mean? Hey, let me just, I want this to stay music. I don't know if I'm sounding a different type of way. I want it to stay music. I do too. Please. I just. You can't, Jim Capo can't come on a, on a podcast and be like, yeah, nigga, say something. I'm going to go beside your Kofi. It's not back in the days in 01. He can't say that. He will be looked at as crazy. He has to say what he yeah, said. Yeah, but I could tell he had his go left voice on. Yeah, he did. I mean, yeah. On top of that, yeah. we yeah. got to read through if it. I, even if, I'm, if, I, if that's my mindset, though, like, yo, this, this ain't nothing. This ain't beef. It's just music. I'm not going to say the things that opens it the door for you to say something that I know I ain't going to like. Hey, yo, Coppa don't like when niggas <laughs> I already see Watch. I, I, I see it. I know where it's going to go. I know Me where too. it's going to go, too. So I'm never covering this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm done. <laughs> Listen, good battle, good round. The fans <laughs> win. The fans. The fans. True. Because I'm done. When artists like Kiss and them say that, you know, they don't like this matchup, what, what standpoint are they coming from? Like when Jada be like, I don't like this matchup between Jim and Push. If Jada Kiss is saying that, then that's what Joe Budden is saying too. <laughs> <laughs> Got and getting me to interpret for Jada Kiss. Got you. Okay. Whatever you think he mean is what he mean. Got you. All right. He he's good at the. Uh, you too. 
<laughs> you too? <laughs> what? You good, boy. That was a good one. I'm riding with Kiss. I know. I know what my name is, Bennett. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss Cafe. Puppet Master. Yeah. No bullshit. I did like to see it, though. I like it. I like it. I like the energy. I, I like it. I just... Stay music, please. Good luck. Come on, let's get right mm. to it. Billboard released their top 20. We had this conversation on Patreon. We did. Their top 20 rap groups of all time. We did. 20, UGK. I like it. 19, G-Unit. They got the whole list out. Yeah, but we, we covered about that. We covered we on, one We're on the top 20. Or thir 22. Oh, okay. uh, 18, 3-6 Mafia. Cypress Hill. Beastie Boys. Naughty by Nature at 15. Fuji's at 14. Mob Deep, 13. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious 5 at 12. Migos at 11. The Roots. De La Soul. Salt and Pepper. Eric B. and Rakim. Public Enemy. The top five is Run DMC at five. Tribe Called Quest at four. N.W.A. at two. Wu-Tang Clan at, I'm out. N.W.A. at three. Wu-Tang Clan at two. Outcast at one. Mm. I got to say, I hated 21 through 50. Not hated. The names were right. The orders were just crazy to me. This is, I'm not super mad at this. I'm not super mad. I'm um, not super mad. I would have modified a few things. I'm not super mad mm -hmm. at it. They definitely got it right by keeping, I think they got all the groups that should have been in the top 50 in the top 50. So yes. you can't really argue that. Mm -hmm. yes. And then even no, in the top. No, they didn't. We was Bone Thugs. Bone they Thugs were in the 20 top 20-something. 21. Yeah. Okay. That, was the, that was the first thing I looked for. Yeah. They were in there. All right. Um, again, like that's a, that's a point. Bone Thugs could have been in the top twenty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Should have been in the top twenty by a lot of people's um, mm -hmm. estimation. Absolutely. I think um, again, if you play with the orders a little bit, three or four spaces, I think they they really did good in, in this particular one more than they do in the, a lot of the other lists. I'm really happy with where they put Mob Deep. Yeah, because every time we bring up Mob Deep, or at least for me in my travels. The rest of the world outside of New York always act like that's such a New York thing and it didn't really hit anywhere else. And I wasn't there, so I can't argue, but I know what it did over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I know the impact that that sound and style of music had to in totality. Yes. So to see Mob Deep at 13, right under the Fugees, who were an uh, international diamond-selling group. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the consideration here is solo careers as well. Because while I, I'm not mad at the Fuji's in the top 20, they may be a little high being that they only have two albums. I disagree. Tell me more. I think that... Well, Big, Biggie only has two albums. Yeah. And but there's a reason for those two albums. Whatever the reason. There's a reason for this only. <laughs> I mean, okay. But like, I just think that you got to take all things in totality. I agree. So to what Joe said, Mob Deep, if you go to other states, they wasn't hitting like that. And we, and we hear that is. from those states in our reviews oftentimes, because I wasn't in those states. But when they'd be like, no, y'all niggas is wrong. That shit wasn't really rocking out. Fuji's was international. No bro. question. Yeah. That and shit to, went diamond. And their impact was crazier than Mob Deep's. To answer your question, um, they did address that. It says, most notably, inclusion on this list is based on the accomplishments of the group as a unit, not what the individuals may have separately accomplished. Oh, then I would, put the, I would bump them I down would, a little bit. Yeah, same. Respectfully, I love the Fugees and I love the score, but that one impactful album puts you at fourteen. I don't know, man. No, nah, the score was the score. Uh, yeah, this, I, this, is the, this, is, this is the criteria they took to come up with the list: body of work slash achievements. So Wu Tang only have two albums? No, hell no. No, no. five. Oh, yeah, four. Like four. two, that count. It's two, two that, that count. Two, two out. Yeah, two that. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, but well, again, but look, but look, <laughs> but wait, <laughs> but, but no, that first one counted. Wu Tang is no uh, again listening around reality or whatever like that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that first album don't count. Y'all are bugging. Y'all yeah, wasn't there. It's like it's like juvenile. Y'all wasn't there. It's like juvenile. Yeah, I don't know. You couldn't go nowhere without hearing. A Mona Lisa, can I get a date on Friday? And if you're busy, I wouldn't mind to get Saturday. That's, that's Jersey bias, but I feel you. That's Jersey bias, but I feel you. I didn't know they were from Jersey when I heard that. I thought they were some weirdos from Alabama or some shit. <laughs> Jersey. I had no idea they was from New Jersey. That shit just came on. A one, two, y'all. A TV, TV, y'all. But anyway, I'm, I got well, my cape on. I understand why Wu-Tang, because again, Wu -Tang is Wu -Tang. body of yeah. work, achievements, mm -hmm. cultural impact slash influence, longevity, mm -hmm. lyrics, and flow. That cultural impact part pushes Wu-Tang up. So why don't they I don't think that. nobody's so don't questioning where Wu Tang is, cool. NWA, Tribe, no. Outcast is the best group of all time to me. So Run DMC or Outcast. It's, it's NWA for me. But, but, but I'm not mad at. But, but I'm not mad at. But their top five was great. That's true. 
You can't argue it. Even if you interchange the yeah. top five, mm-hmm. you might have put this one at three, this one at two, whatever the case may be. I think that we, top five, it would be unanimous. Are we all agreeing that Outcast should be number one? I don't see you. I'm not no, mad at it. I don't see you arguing. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. I can't argue it. It's not my number one, I'm but mad I'm not mad at it being their number one. They could have put Run DMC as number one. Nobody else Nobody would have argued, argued with that. Yeah. A lot of people would argue. Outcast has a better think, shooting wait, percentage. You think so? Outcast is a flawless shooting percentage. It was either going to be Outcast or Wu Tang. Yeah. Anything else you hear argument? Mm. If Run DMC was number one, I don't think we'd have got pushback if Run DMC was number one. Did they list the Jungle Brothers? Nope. No. No. I get it. They only had I one album. It. I get it. I get they it. didn't have, only have one album. They had one one big album, I guess. Yeah, they probably had more. They had more. I don't like the engineer. I used to love. I don't like the art engineer discounting the smaller albums from the group. <laughs> Not <laughs> no, and, uh, impactful. I'm, I'm talking about I'm, impact. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with it. Ultra Magnetic should be on there too. But by that. Hmm. Got it. I want to bump salt and pepper down, but you can't do can't. that, right? Can't. Can't do that because the women will attack uh-huh. you. But. I'm putting I'm putting locks, I think it was at like 22, 23. I would bump them up in favor of uh, Fuji's or something like that. Where would you put salt and pepper? <laughs> you such a trouble <laughs> Yo. I wasn't even going to ask you. You such a trouble you maker. Do you think that they're in their appropriate spot? I do. You put them at what, number 20? They were 20, impactful. 20, 20, 20, 20. I, I was a kid. I'm a little older than some of them. They were, they, they were impactful. They were. Impact. I was a kid. I was buying. They had impact. Shit. I remember impact. Salt and Peppers. They had impact. They mm-hmm. had great impact. But do describe we, it. What was the impact? Yeah, they were going on tours like mega tours. You know what I'm saying? And they were the only female group around at that time. And they still was moving units. They had their video. It wasn't just like a. Uh, did they? Did they have more impact? Like a charity. You know top, what I'm saying? Top just ten impact though. Did they have more impact than TLC? I love Salt and Pepper, but <laughs> all right, all right. Did they have more impact than TLC? <laughs> did they have more impact than TLC? <laughs> Yeah. Well, their impact literally was because they're they're pioneers. Uh, like they have, there's, I, I get it. I there's get like it. no TLC without Salt and Pepper happening. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think so. I, I don't think that's true. But <laughs> I ain't they, like Two Live Crew being 32. They, to be honest, do, do you think yeah, that, that was that, my like, How could Two Live Crew be 32 and Salt and Pepper be seven? Like y'all are bugging enough, with that. Yeah. Do you think? Like, T- um, so I'm more <laughs> to Yo, you know it's so funny. You can't even get out the question. <laughs> do I think that? What are you asking me, you young man? Because you're making me laugh. Do you think that Salt and Pepper had a bigger impact than TLC, regardless of being pioneers? No, no. All right. Was Thank TLC you. on the list? That's an R and B group. R and B group. I'm sorry. Okay. We're talking about an R and B group. I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, true. Mm. True. Who else I got a problem with on this list? Let me see. Like, that's oh, you list. know what I like. I like Migos being 11. Not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. And would probably argue they could go higher. Mm. Not mad at it. Not mad. Uh, higher than who? If they had number 11. You don't want me to say it. I already got punched in the face once. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fan. Migos definitely could be, could be in the top 10 groups of all time, dog. So how do you put the Beastie Boys at 16 if the Migos are at 11? I don't have the Beastie Boys at... I'm just saying, like... Uh, who in the top 10 could they take out? Top 10 is... Y'all will get mad at me, so I'm not... You cultural, gonna, you cultural... You're going to say De La Soul? Absolutely, we'll say De La Soul. I know Ice is going to say De La Soul. 100%. I'm going to say it too. 1,000%. Mm, actually, we talking about impactful groups? Mm. Migos, Catalog, Migos should be higher than all De La Soul. That. Yes. I'll say it. Migos should be higher than Soul and Pepper. Yes. Yes. And if you really want me to fucking turn this up, <laughs> I'm not. You, you, I can't say that one. You gotta say it. Yeah, Migos should be higher than the unsaid one too. You out your mind? Who's the unsaid one? Shit, that nigga be. I could keep going. No, you can't. Yeah, Migos could right. be a top five group, and you I can have your, no argument. You with out it. your fucking mind? How? No, they can't argue against it because this is the thing. We we got recency bias. I was that's, out. I was that's outside. That's that is true. I was outside. I don't have I, recency bias, so attack what I'm saying, I'm saying without that. Cool. To take any of them them groups out of the top five, you are bugging. They have not had more impact than any group in the top five. They have a lot of impact, though. I not more than that. any group in the top five. Not even close. Top eight. <laughs> not bad at top. Top eight. eight. I still disagree. You 47 though. I know and that's my point So that's how I commend What were you doing Wait. What were you doing when I, That's why I commend you the impact What were you doing when uh, Fight Music dropped Fight Night Fight Night I mean Fight Night Turn No answer up. it I don't know where I was at When Fight Night but dropped I was answer outside it. Let the music Joe, act I'm as a photo As a photograph Cool And I'm outside Right Yo I hate outside No hip-hop. listen to what I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> Outside don't answer Nothing in hip hop I'm with Ice now no, you're not, because you say it all the time. As your, as your, as your. I, thing. I know. I've I've implemented mad shit that has ruined culture. 
This, this, this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. I was around when all of these groups came out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn near all of them. I mm-hmm. was around. So I saw how they moved outside. I'm not disrespecting the Migos by saying that they didn't have a cultural impact. What I'm saying is in early 90s and late 80s, these other groups had cultural impact too. Y'all niggas was in elementary school. Okay, let me ask you a question. Was it, so you say they shouldn't go higher than Daylight? I'm not really a fan of De La Soul being there. I think the Beastie Boys could replace. I think the Beastie Boys could replace De La Soul. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. So you, they shouldn't go hide in Salt and Pepper. I want to go in no. order. No. Okay. Well, if the Meg album had you going crazy, then the Meg <laughs> album didn't have you going crazy. I, I do. Understand. Salt and Pepper was impactful, my nigga. We How just, long? Was Salt and Pepper oh, impactful? There you yeah. go. How long? There Easily a go. decade. Easily. Nah. No way. What? No way. Year, on God's no, green no earth. don't just say no. Give me the no years that make up that God's 10 years. Green I don't, earth. You Tell think me I'm, the I'm 10 a walking years. computer? I don't know what the fuck. You, you got a phone. You got a phone. It goes from fucking uh, push it and I'll take your man to what a man. That's the run. What a man, what a man, what You're a man. That's the bro. run. Because Salt and Pepper came out dissing. Um, uh, 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 Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick. That's that was their inception. Dissing Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick. Yeah, eighty five showstopper. Thank you. And my nigga and and and. But we talking Shoop about and all that shit was out when run. I was in high school. We talking about the run. Yeah. Shoop and all of that shit was out when I was. I don't in high like school. that he get to say all this and still not answer my question as to where he was and what he was doing. When I don't fight know. I, and I, that's him, but I that's don't him, know. But you ain't even try to think, I, bro, because that song wasn't Versace. I was in the clubs, and it was mm. going off in the clubs. I'm not. Bro, listen, I'm not going to make this me dissing the Migos. I'm not dissing the Migos. They were impactful. 86 to 93 of Salt and Peppers. What no, I'm no, telling no. you. 80, 80, 88 to 95, because 95, they won the Grammy. Dog, we're not going to just. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Salt and Pepper was impactful. Salt and Pepper made girls think about rapping. You want to talk about cultural impact? The Migos ain't making nobody go pick up a pen? That's not true. It's not true. Nah, Migos true. definitely Migos sponsored not true. an entire... That's not true. An entire genre. 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 The entire yeah. gen- genre generation of, of kids and the way that they make music is birthed from Migos. How? Migos, Their Soldier Boy, Boy yeah. Chief Keef. There's a few of them out there that change the way that the newer kids make I music. Like so the Migos ain't a, a product of that future sound? They were a part of it. Yeah, they were part. Not even a product of it. They're contemporaries. They had to fight with him. I know. They had to battle it out. I'm not, and again, I'm not, I, did, I don't want this to come off. Even that's that. tough. You can't, cool. Streaming. Y'all can't, y'all bugging. Ah, push And that made girls want to start rapping. Oh, that's it. cultural impact. Oh, I am. About what, sex? Listen, my brother. <laughs> y'all bugging. Listen. I'm just asking. I'm Listen. Just... You got it, fam. I, I think Should Migos be hiding in De La Soul? I think they could be. Yeah, they could I be higher than De La Soul. Okay. But I don't think I don't I don't agree with De La Soul being in the top ten. I think Beastie Boys need to be replaced. Should Migos be higher than the roots? No. But could they be? Not to me. No. Look at Parks. Your backpack is cool. <laughs> yeah, your back, your back. <laughs> you got, your backpack is safe. Your backpack, burn it up. Yeah. We can leave this topic out because you sweat, you turn it pink in yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool, but can they? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Hell yes. Sorry, they, Philly. They could. Absolutely. They could. I think that's recency bias. Maybe I'm the old nigga on the pot, but I definitely think that's recency bias. You didn't even bias. know the members of the Roots group. Who didn't know the members of the, the group? The names of all the members. I know them niggas' names. All of them. Offset, Takeoff, and Quavo. What are you talking that's about? That's the Roots. Y'all heard him, right? That's Miko. Oh, you the said roots. the members said of the, the Roots. I said oh, the Roots. <laughs> I don't got to know this. It's a band. Niggas, most of these niggas here don't know their names. You got five, five songs? Can you name five Roots records? I put on the Roots album. I, I didn't say that. I, I asked you a question. <laughs> Watch this. I could quote that's the whole I album front to back. That's why I love this part. I was outside in the 90s. I'm not fair. I wasn't listening fair. to No Limit. I was There's listening to the Roots. There, there it go. Well, out. you back him in the corner. Oh, and then he dissed you. I, then he dissed you. That's how it happens. That's outside bias. No, that's the thing, though. Niggas wasn't around. You making an opinion based on some shit when you wasn't around. But he had a radio, my nigga. And he didn't listen. <laughs> he had a radio. Per, as per him, I listen, he I, didn't listen to. Ice didn't even listen to Mob Deep. He lives oh, in he fucking said, North. Trying to get you. He said, I know. I know I'm not dissing him. No, you are. It's you not know, a diss. It's cool. Ice told us he didn't listen to Mob Deep like that. Am I lying? Ice will he say he didn't listen to Mob Deep like so that. So my point is, Ice was listening to down south rap. So Ice wasn't outside in the clubs. Ice wasn't necessarily outside in the street. Ice can't speak to the impact that some of these songs had I'm in the summertime outside. I'm just asking you to name some records. That's, that's well, it. That's all I said. That's true. Now, I'm not now, now respond to him. 
All I said is if, if they are that group and the, the roots, Migos should not be higher than the Migos, I, I, can you name me some meat, some roots? If I if I don't know nothing about the roots, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Let me go do my due diligence. Okay. Give me some records to go look for. So I'm, I'm about to answer you. If if you turned on every the Illadelph album, I could quote the album front to back, literally start he rapping old, with so him, you know, but you I don't know the do names that. of you the songs. You got bad memory, 40 stuff. Come on, you don't do I don't that. know the names right. of the songs. Okay. You know that too. Okay. You'll be like, yo, I'll be like, what song is that? You like, you know it when you hear was, it. Right. And the song will come on and I could quote the whole fucking song, Just but I won't know, know the name of I, it. I have, I, I have Migos above Salt and Pepper and, uh, okay. and, and De La Soul. Ooh, look. And De La Soul. Okay. So when it comes to Salt and Pepper... I think that the conversation we're focusing a lot on impact, you know, but I feel like everybody's definition of what is impactful is maybe slightly different. You know what I mean? That's true. And when it comes to like impact with salt and pepper, the fact of the matter is, is that representation really matters. And when it came to female MCs and just like the whole embodiment of being a woman in a in a male dominated music genre was wildly impactful. And that's why I'm trying to say that so many women that came after them, they are the template. They're the blueprint. They're the pioneer. Their footprint is extremely large. That is why they deserve to be extremely high on the list, regardless of the lyrical content, all the other criteria, their impact was literally a sonic boom. And that, to me, is what makes them, this where they deserve to be where they are. Name four, you know? so, name four Salt and Pepper songs, Melissa. I mean, we just named them. Shoot. No, we didn't. We did. We go. Come Glish on. it. Uh, what, a, what a man. What a man. Oh, it's a NASA group effort. All right, forget it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Y'all got it. Shut up, I, get, I get what you said. I mean, and also you... What the fuck what y'all talking about? I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta print no resume. Rest in peace, take off. I had to regulate. <laughs> they get some, they get some money out of you me know, when this come on. Oh, it's a bunch of them. Oh, they get some yeah, money out of me when this come on. Yeah, y'all, y'all know where y'all was at when that dropped. Whole bunch of them. They got a couple of them that get some money. They got a few of these. Yeah. All right, let me start. I start digging. I start digging. They can get some money out of me when this come on. Definitely. Again, I'm not shit. I'm not shitting on them. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna. We're, this is this is this is the comparison between the two. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think they're comparable. Like it's, they're not. They're, it is. It's like a straw man's fucking argument. It's like it's non. Oh, it is non comparable. Me and I stopped arguing at least seven minutes ago. <laughs> I'm done, bro. Y'all got it. <laughs> Beagles is the top. Maybe six group yeah, all time. Six, 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 six fucking niggas ain't played push in thirty years. So <laughs> the reality. Uh, listen, when, when, when push it, when oh, push it, I won't be playing that Migos shit either. When push it came out, I was in elementary school. I was um, and in elementary school in Canada. I'm just talking about impact oh, and representation. Right. You know what I mean? It's so mm. she's right. She is. Y'all have Canadian <laughs> listeners and you just alienate the fuck out of them if you want to. I'm shouting them out. I like okay. them. Shout them out. <laughs> Mel, did you just do that? <laughs> what? She weaponized her Canada. Yeah, that's just, that's just, <laughs> she definitely okay. did. She I definitely just, did. I mean, you that's know, fine. you gotta love them. Yeah, Why do you feel the need to weaponize shit against us? I'm not like weaponizing anything. You were tweeting. You said you're gonna come back and, and bust niggas' ass on the park, get at us about, about oh, certain topics. I saw it. I mean, I just listen, it, it's it's Saturday, so and it's a it's a long weekend, so I'm trying to be fun and shit and not not talk about stuff that, you know, has been making Crazy headlines. I saw what you wrote on Twitter. Uh, I just screenshot that shit. I said, I'm going to the top. You threatening us to, to your fans. <laughs> I'm going to go there and fuck them. I said, oh, I shit. Shit. oh my God, embellish. <laughs> oh my said, God, embellish. You said you're going to let us have it. I was just like, I'm She good. said that shit from vacation. Lord, <laughs> 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 wait to get back. There's smoke coming from us. <laughs> but. <laughs> now talk about it. Get your shit she said that. She said that. Mm. They asked a topic and. She said, when I go up there, I am going to let them fuckers have it. I, that, <laughs> Damn. Those motherfuckers. In, that's all I read. Like, I just heard your voice. I'm gonna, you heard it in my them voice. Them fuckers have it. You yeah. heard it in my voice, even though I did not say. You were paraphrasing. Yes, I am. You were paraphrasing. Yeah. But yeah, it was the, it's the Jonathan Majors topic. Mm. It's back in the headlines and stuff like that. But it's not fun stuff. So, you know, we're just going to walk away from that. <laughs> well, get your shit off. Yeah, in, check in us. Four yeah. minutes to, or less. I, real quick, though. I, yeah. would like you, I would like you to stand on what you said I want you to check us in a checking us for, wait you just, said you going to check not us. for 40 minutes no. okay all right um even though okay 
Um, originally, when we came in, we talked about the Jonathan Majors story. Um, you know, he was accused of um, domestic violence and assault. Uh, his mm-hmm. partner of a, a year made these accusations. He was arrested. And we started talking about the fact that, you know, his career was probably over, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My stance was always, can we let the case play out and see what evidence is going to be presented and stuff instead of crucifying him and ruining him before his career can actually, you know, kind of, you know, take off. And so as things have kind of come out, you know, uh, there's been a lot of stories about past, you know, um, abuse from other um, from other people that he's had dealings with, et cetera, et cetera. But most recently in his court appearances, um, the cops have found that there is enough evidence to charge his accuser of lying and also for assault. And so the story itself the, has a lot more, you know, there's a lot more to it than what was originally conveyed. However, at this point, a Rolling Stones article just came out. So there's no way that I can sum that up in about four minutes. It's just, it, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that I can so sum it up. So what were you checking us on? Because we stood with, I don't understand, you know, the checking us Oh, you guys, you guys were like literally like, yeah, no, he's accusing him of what he was. Yeah, it's probably. Oh, so we attacked him. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I just basically said, we're going to let the, we're going to let the case play out. See evidentiary proof. And then. Our bad? Hmm? Our bad. Our bad. Our bad. My, my, bad. My, my bad. I'm sorry. Same. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My bad. You got it. You know, you know. Got that one wrong, you know. the fucked up. Like, it's, it's, you kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. We in a fucked up situation look, right now. Nah, Absolutely. Nah. I feel oh, like why? Being... Because, of, because the whole believe all women type thing? Correct. Yeah. Right? If you don't, if you sit there and say, Hey, I'm going to wait for the information to come out. As men. Then, mm-hmm. As men. Then you're not believing the victim. Mm-hmm. And, and we're victim shaming. You're part of the problem. Yeah. Well, or if you exactly just, victim shaming, just say you want to yeah. use your brain and say, you know what, let me just think. A l-. You, you, can't, you can't. Critical like- thinking is, is, no, you're right. A lot of times the pendulum just fucking swings in the opposite direction as to where it originally was. And yeah, the pendulum swang, swung a little bit too far because in that in that situation, there was way too many holes in the story that was presented. And I was like, mm, I don't really, I don't really believe this. Like, I don't believe it as it's been presented. I really think that there's a lot of holes in it. And maybe I'm fortunate, you know, maybe in this per- particular circumstance, because I'm a woman, I'm allowed to employ critical thinking when it comes to that situation. But that, that's it. Mm. That's really it. That is it. As a man, we can't, say, Hold us down. we can't say what you literally, when it came out, we can't sit there and we say, We can't hey, say what you say. Let's wait to hear more. We can't do that. We can't say, well, she might have did something for him to slap her. We can't say that. Or the fact that he might not actually have, have slapped, slapped her. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Interesting. Nope. Okay. Certain shit we can't say, but you can say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you got to speak for us. You got to help us out. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. In these In these yeah. situations. Oh, this nigga got, oh, shit. We <laughs> got the block. No. Just in case, right? Oh, no, he was doing good. Don't bring him out. Oh, please, wait. <laughs> he was doing good. Don't bring him out. Do oh, not bring shit. out them shades. Nah, they out, bro. Don't ignore me. I can't. You can't. They out. Where we at? Come on. Nah, that, I mean, anything else in closing, Mel? No, no. There's a there's an article that just came out in Rolling Stones that just kind of tries to portray him as a serial abuser, et cetera, et cetera. But really, honestly, after reading the article and employing critical thinking, no. When you, you when you emphasize on, on critical thinking, employing critical thinking are you uh are you the only one in here that it you know that uses that no i'm talking about no i i'm going to assume that nobody's read it because it literally just dropped this morning so and it was a lengthy article and i just happened to be able to read it just want to make sure so i'm not talking about anybody else i'm just talking about myself and when i'm reading an article and understanding how the media can like write things in such a way that it sways that it sways your opinion Mm -hmm. but they're not actually producing any real evidence. They're just making these broad stroke statements without anybody, you know, without any like real like proof. But speaking of broad stroke statements and just for clarity, you were right in saying we should wait for more evidence. She was. And we were wrong in what? In basically saying that this is, it's a wrap on his career and probably, you know, that he. I stand by that. Mm Mm-hmm. 
I stand by it. The trajectory of his career is forever changed and different. No, the trajectory of his career is definitely forever changed as a result of these accusations. But when we came in here, the overwhelming kind of feel was that you guys felt like what he was accused of was accurate. That's, that's, not, true. that's not true. Okay. And that's not true. Okay. I came in here and specifically addressed, and then I'm saying this in closing, I came in here and specifically addressed black women. I didn't say anything about, more will be revealed. Evidence is gonna come out. We'll be able to see what he did and what he didn't do. There's a lot of conflicting stories, stories about his past, his history, her side, his side. My response was to black women for being so mum on the issue. When any other man that was accused of such things, i.e., it don't matter. Yeah, Y'all get him out of here, quick and fast. Y'all don't wait for more facts. Oh, y'all don't say more will be revealed. Y'all end them the way y'all have ended many, 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 many black men. And then I attacked you. Then but I, I don't. At you, I, what was I saying that's what, about? That's what I, I made the jokes about. Yeah, went through his phone. I would do I, something, but so it was when he, so he had. He did say that. And then I said like male, and then that's when you. And that's when I. That's you, when yeah. Yeah. That's, that's when, when that I happened. defended him. You defended your stance. I def which was in defense of him. Yes. And then yes. You, yeah, but then you kind of switched it. How did I switch it? Because we pointed out the fact that um, if a, when a woman complains, we, me and you had a whole back and forth about it, mm -hmm. right? That you didn't know what side to be on. No, I knew what side to okay, be on. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. No. And it, I started saying that about his muscles and you like him and you, it was a whole bunch of shit I was getting into. I right. remember that, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, where do you stand on it now? I still firmly stand on the side that he is being maligned. You know, right. in the Rolling Stones article, they talk a lot about, you know, they use these words like intimidation and he was aggressive and all these fucking tropes that kind of get applied to black men to justify, you know, maligning them or charging them or whatever the case is. And it's just like, if we're really looking at Jonathan Majors right now, he is big, he's brolic, he's huge. You know, he's gotten physically, he's, he's physically imposing now. But in the, at the time in which the story comes out and the people that they're interviewing, they're talking about his time at Yale, et cetera, et cetera. He is a puny, skinny drama student, a drama geek. There is nothing intimidating about him. They're talking about, you know, oh, his method made him so scary, et cetera. It's, it's Yale drama. He's so, a so method with, actor. So you stand with him? I do. I do. I, I okay. stand with him, and I think that the article was like, was just, was really like, like a, a witch hunt. A takedown piece. So, okay. okay. Honestly. Yeah. So. Well said. Okay. Thank All you. Right. I guess. Yeah. We shall see. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And thoughts and prayers to everyone involved. Yeah. And afflicted. Would y'all co parent a pet? No. Like in no. different households? <laughs> yeah. No. What kind of pet? Uh, I probably would. Any pet. I'm I tried that would. once. No. co parenting like a cat is a little difficult. The cat ain't going to the house. Right. A dog, you could do it. A cat is a little cat. No. Dog. They be on a the lizard. Time. So you would? No, I wouldn't. I would. Ice is a no. I was a hard no. Someone's got to pick Ish is a yes. He won't find any way to keep communication. <laughs> <laughs> but the dog. <laughs> Someone's got to pick a side. The dog got to pick a side. <laughs> you got to put the dog in between in the, the two of you. And see I love Sheffy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When will I get to see Sheffy? <laughs> have, you, have you? You would do that? No, no, no I wouldn't co-parent. You wouldn't do that? Fucking, no. 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 no? Mm -hmm. Type of loser nigga I look like co parent in a fucking pet. I don't even want a pet. Niggas leave, niggas leave their daughters and sons to not co parent. <laughs> you th who you think is sticking around for a pet? That's crazy. <laughs> Sayonara, Sheffy. <laughs> <laughs> It's nah. All you gotta do is look at you look at a dog eyes and see who he want to be with. Facts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah, Shoot. you can just look at the animal. She get, yeah. she get to taking him out the house. He look back. He look, look back at you. <laughs> but, 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 you want to let me go? <laughs> but, but, but. Oh, no, me. Not this bitch. <laughs> Please. She never feeds me on time. Never uh, feeds me. <laughs> all right, cool. Y'all wouldn't. All right, good to know. Yeah, nah, yeah. That doesn't not, work. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I well, you said you actually tried it. Yeah, I did with what my. Kind of, uh -huh. What kind of dog? What kind of animal? Yeah. It was a dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a teacup Chihuahua. Her name was Tequila. It didn't work out. 
You, you can use some help taking care of a dog. I can. I, we're <laughs> gonna. gonna we're lie. gonna. No, we're not. You could use a little. We bit are help. stopping that narrative. My dog is. She is just fine. But she you don't have loved, teacup. Huh? You don't have teacup. What you talking about? You don't have teacup. tequila. Tequila. Up. Where's tequila? Where's tequila? Tequila. Tequila. She's at home. Wait. wait. At home. Right where? now. At my house. Wait. No, that's Daisy, right? Oh shit. Mel, Mel, what the? Mel, you okay? You know what? Look, man, what happened to Tequila? Man, it's okay. It's okay. Moving right along. Moving right along. Moving right along. Uh huh. What else? What else is entertaining? No, 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 no. I'm just a fan of the breed. Uh, I'm a fan of the breed. Man. So she was my old Chihuahua. Daisy's my new one. Okay. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Whoops. Yo, bro, could you stop looking over here through them dark glasses? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can feel a nigga looking this way, Paul. Like, All right. We got my man back up in the mix. Mm. My man Adam is back. What he did, man? Take that, fig immunity. <laughs> Huh? Lost his co-host and said, nah, y'all ain't getting rid of me. I'm going to have a black nigga fuck my girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to have a black dude fuck my wife, man. That's really going to show you how liberal I am. That'll really <laughs> stir things up around here. Juneteenth just passed. Yo, show you I ain't on the oh, other shit. side. <laughs> oh, shit. My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, Adam22, uh, his, his wife is a porn star. Uh, recently, they let another man into their bedroom. I think it was group sex. I don't know, because I didn't look it up. You, you don't want to watch the tape? <laughs> I don't think it's that. No, I'm cool. I'm cool. I saw, I saw so I went in. Oh, oh, my bad. So I, I went in. Um, you watched the video? No, I didn't. But I wanted to see what it, you know, just you to search to see it. if Adam was. No, nigga, hold <laughs> You good? <laughs> was it group and sex, it, first of all? Or was he well, participating? All I saw was, No, he wasn't. I didn't see okay. any video. Okay. But it said his wife was on black. She was on black? <laughs> what's, what's black? What the fuck is black? You're lying. Ish, tell her what's black. I don't know what black is. <laughs> this is his bag. It's like some underworld baby shower cult <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> black is, I've talked about it here before, mm. black is a... So this is a, this is a favorite side of yours? I mean, Why I, you keep I, licking I, your I, lips? I, I, nigga, talk. <laughs> Stop <laughs> sucking on your <laughs> fucking <laughs> lips. I'm this not licking my lips, you freaky ass, ass boy. Nigga. Yo, this is black? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the nigga that fucked his girl. <laughs> one of the oh, niggas. So look, <laughs> so look tell black me. Black is a is a uh, 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 porn hub, like site. a porn site where it's literally <laughs> black men mm -hmm. branding <laughs> black women like no 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 I'm black women. I mean white women beating their brains out. Literally with niggas penis. with fifteen well, inch with penis. dick, 15, okay. 15 inch what? dick niggas running around. Don't demolishing. Joe, <laughs> Yo, this shit. <laughs> Yo, flip this wild. Joe, this shit crazy. <laughs> look at Mel trying not to look and go look. <laughs> and then, Yo, that nigga. So and, you you subscribe? You subscribe to Black? I don't subscribe, but I've definitely watched uh, a, a, a bunch of them. <laughs> Yo, you really take these racial shit to a different thing level, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sick? That's you, a, you a sick nigga? I watch porn, flip. You watch still porn, low you? today? Yes. Yeah. Fucking right. Okay. Oh no. I'm so. So you like little white girls? They got snappy at me. <laughs> <laughs> Over his head. Yeah, then you fucking right. I still. They got it's, that's some <laughs> crazy let, shit. Let, listen to you pushing the narrative. I'm, I'm gonna get I'm on you. I'm kid. telling you now. You better chill out. Get on me. All right. Cool. Pause. But as I was saying, if my man Adam's wife is little too, she looked like she about four eleven. So one of them niggas probably was up in her motherfucking <laughs> kidneys, and so, he sat there and watched that. So it's just a lot of big dicks over there. <laughs> They be beating up, bro. <laughs> nah, he don't want to say it. Take yeah, a look. He don't want to say it. He don't want to say it. He won't say it. Yo, they're packing. I didn't say that. He said did. niggas walking around with 15 inch dicks on the site. Yeah, them. but don't speed through that part. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to say it. I'm not going to. Hey, I'm staying here. Elaborate. Elaborate. No, expound. No. You expound on anything I'm else, nigga. Is it a straight 15? Like, what you mean? Yeah. Like, oh, hey, nice. <laughs> but, yo, that's crazy. If he had his wife up there, she ain't coming back the same. Then Joe Kill push it. He can't even raise his he can't raise his <laughs> voice in there no more. Nah. Yo, lower your tone. I call. Yeah. <laughs> nigga over here, nigga. I wonder That's if he crazy. was in the room. 
Because that is a genre, cuckold, so, where the yeah, husbands watch it. They watch. They watch. Yeah. You might get some balls to the face. I ain't the only huh? one. What? You hear? Sometimes that's you a hear? part of the cuckold. <laughs> Sometimes they get some balls to the face. <laughs> Ooh. The husband in the cuckold situation. That's yeah, part yeah, of There's it. a genre of porn called cuckold. No, I know that, but why, okay. well, why would he get why balls, would he get balls in the face? Because that's like going hard for the cuckold brand. Yeah, them niggas be. Like, this is how serious I am about being a cuck. I will take the balls to the face. He will go under the man. What are you doing? Hey, What the fuck is that? Yo, stop. I'm telling you what exists, man. What are you watching? I don't watch it. I just know if it's existed. Why How? do you know that? Because I wondered at one point in time, it, what the fuck is a cuckold? He did it. Nigga, he I, watched it before, nigga. Yes, I watched it, but about? I don't watch it. There's For no research purposes, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. What he the just fuck knew is we was going to come in here and talk about that. Yo, Wack 100 was laughing at Adam. Talk about, yo, it's a different dick. That ain't the regular dick she be fucking with. It's whole different dick. I didn't know it was black site. <laughs> Whack, whack is correct. <laughs> whack is correct. Yeah, I just saw the dude. I saw the dude. You saw the shit? One of the niggas. Yeah, the dude, of course. I saw the dude that, that came in the camera behind her. He's on black. The nigga with the tattoos on his chest. He's right here. And that don't, that don't let no regular shit pause. <laughs> This nigga on the main page. Look at this nigga right here. Yo, yo, I'm good. It's him. <laughs> nigga, I'm like a horse. Let me see. I'll be the judge. <laughs> that nigga. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you love birds. Oh, my God. That nigga. He killed us. <laughs> DOA. DOA. They on Adam. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. What the yo. fuck? Oh, man. Oh, yo. Adam, crazy. you a different breed, son. <laughs> yeah. Because ma- they make money off their own porn <laughs> shit. But I guess they usually do like the threesome shit with the other girls. So mm-hmm. maybe this is like. It's her turn. Now you owe, you owe me one. Yeah, it's her turn. Mm-hmm. Get a lick back. Oh, she got a bunch a lick of licks, back. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, shit. This nigga's oh, stupid. Shit, yeah, bro. Oh, That's yeah, funny. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Teach so their own, ask, you know? I don't have to ask the question with any of y'all. Never. Okay. You never. No, I just wanted to make sure I was with a bunch of women. Yeah, I had to make sure. Mm-mm. Had to make Ain't sure no you never. Cuckholes over here. Cuckholes. <laughs> Would you guys say that that's like a level of confidence to like be with a porn star? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a level of security that you gotta have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't niggas, have niggas, niggas been with strippers. I'm not. I'm not that secure. Exactly. With <laughs> strippers and porn, that's that, that's very different. Stripping just basically means you get naked and club and that's it. Oh, with the doing the extracurricular. <laughs> we, 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 know, we know the porn stars, man. If they with you, they love you. They did for love. Because they fucking niggas like, like that that's nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga like this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just saw it, nigga. Up to here. Nah, 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 nah. This is for love. And you gotta appreciate her. I love you. <laughs> that shit fuck flip up You said you nah. gotta appreciate her Please. Nigga I might fuck around I might, I might fuck around Oh my god <laughs> I see what you did with that nigga I'm sorry I'm sorry Oh man. Oh, it's okay. oh. I have to That nigga with a 15 inch Throw in your wife She can spit on that shit nigga Open your legs and helicopter her <laughs> What I'm gonna do with that after She probably gonna look I gotta bring it back I'm gonna go to I'm going all out. Nigga got you by a firm 11, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nigga got you by... <laughs> Maybe by a soft nigga. 11. <laughs> <laughs> nigga got him by a lot, right? See what you do? I'm asking you, you a question. You come back to attack him, man. I'm asking. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> how you look at a girl in the face after that nigga leaves? How you leave? You walk into the door? Like, <laughs> Give him a dap. Are, are you in the same house while you this is happening? Up? No, you did but, that. You is did she that screaming? Shit, good, good scene mm. today, dog. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Could I ask Adam that? What? But y'all wouldn't let her do it because this nigga is is a that, big, that well fella. endowed or just the fat period like he could nah, been just small the fat period, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not my thing and important I think be- I, again shout to Adam I think that's just a different level of security that yeah, I don't I ain't got that like shout to him right I don't right. have that them yeah. poor niggas be ravishing shit like come on nigga 15 and like you gonna fuck my, my so girl that size up alright alright so none of y'all think y'all can outperform a male porn star no, I ain't say that. Oh no, no, no! Outperform because it, in what way? For, for, for what women, seven <laughs> minutes. Uh, <laughs> in what way? In what way? All right. You got it. Now, in what way? Y'all got it. Forget rapping, it. I'm done. Rapping. I'm cool. In rapping. In any way. Yo, for yes. what? So you think you could beat a basketball player one on one? That's not the same. Not the same they, shit. They, they do this it? shit all day. Why they be in the gym. The this is their profession. Because from what women say, they're putting up jump they, shots. They say that it ain't always the size of the dick. 
It's about how you fuck and how you move. So that's just what they say to little niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say to the nigga on the losing side of that. No, that's, yeah, that's they can hit a spot. You can hit a spot. No, it's just still uh, Melissa Ford. It's just all about yes, the you are, <laughs> <laughs> you are the resident woman in the room. Mm -hmm. Is it because girls do say like a nigga dick could be too big? It's not enjoyable. I, I all of that on that page is a hell no fuck no. Absolutely not. Like that would be like the equivalent of like giving birth. That just looks very painful and you, really gross. He would have the woman walk different. Yes. I did, and nobody wants your fucking insides rear. I don't. I don't. That's not fun for Respect, me. Yeah, there's that's not fun. Some girls for want me. that shit though. Tell I them. mean, some girls do, and hey, more power to them. But that is definitely not my jam. Never has been. Never will be. So, if no. your answer is yes, you can outperform a porn star. I'm not saying that. Me personally, I'm just saying I think that. It, <laughs> Wait, what the <laughs> fuck? Is this is retarded, what the bro? fuck is this weird freak ass boy? <laughs> yo, no, if you, I'm, I'm, we talking about you hey, yo, personally. No, we not, we you ask the I'm asking you personally. You the hat and he's saying, I'm not breeze, talking about huh? me personally. <laughs> Take the hat off real quick. Yeah. Talk. Take the hat off and talk. You a different nigga. <laughs> what is we shit, talking bro. about you personally? What do you think about you? Niggas' <laughs> egos can't do it. Nah, it's not the uh, egos. How do you know? Bro, it's uh, not. That's a hard question to answer. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Nah. It's easy as hell. Uh, I'm not getting no. a jump shot off like Akeem Olajuwon. He's a professional basketball player. I'm not out fucking. Yeah, this. look at you calling the big dick niggas Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's racist. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Man, shit. Yo, I've been laughing. All right, so the rest of the room says no. Ish, of course, says, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> mm. He may eat it different. I don't know. Who knows? What? Like, Maybe uh, ish. You're gonna need a lot more tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna need a lot more than that little tongue shit he be doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Do you yeah. think that you can have perform a, a porn star? I've done it. <laughs> so I mean uh, I don't, I don't think a goddamn know. thing. I don't need to ponder. I fucked a few of them niggas out the room. Move, nigga. It's me now, huh? <laughs> Seven and a pop. Hey, it's hard space. Hey, but the hey, if she get her two and a pop, we can go wheels. <laughs> We can be 10 out of this motherfucker here. Yeah, fuck anything to talk about. Uh, now, if Lexington Steele or one of them niggas come walking in the room, I'm going to get a sandwich. You think he's nice at it? Huh? I don't think. You know? See, look. Look, Hakeem. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all girl never told y'all about having a dream that she fucked somebody else? No. No. Mm -mm. Oh, she told oh, that y'all don't have that level of vulnerability with each other? Or y'all think they never did it? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not right. <laughs> no, I yeah. guess we don't. How would you react if she did? It's, girl, it's niggas that... If my no, girl, you. <laughs> yo, <laughs> not your man. <laughs> not your Newark uh, homeboys. There are guys that my girl likes that are on TV. Mm -hmm. So if I know that my girl likes this particular dude and she does that with me, like it's women that I like on TV. So I'll be like, yo... You don't let that nigga beat, and girls will be like, "You damn right." I don't. I don't feel no way about that. Think I'm secure in my spot. I don't feel no type of way. Nigga, Paula Patton, come on the screen. I'm. I'm doing a running man. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? It's certain girls that my uh, that I like. It's certain dudes that my chick likes. We've expressed that. Uh, she ain't never wake up and tell me she had no dream that no nigga was beaten. <laughs> With the monster, Lexi <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> she ain't tell me you had a dream about Lex, nigga. Okay, okay, <laughs> y'all got it. I love, I love y'all. <laughs> I can only ask you this question, and it's not a shot enough. Thanks. I just want to know your reaction. This is great. You walk in the crib, and and she got a scene of black on the screen. You feel away? No, I just asked, bro. Girls watch more porn than men, so I don't mm. feel no type of way about that. I don't think they do. Well, you get that information from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's off the dome. No, <laughs> he just freestyling. No, it's not. It's, All my female friends hey, it's, love porn. This shit ain't freestyle okay. Friday. Yeah, like yeah. You yeah, yeah he just be blurting out. <laughs> well, you that Somebody Google that for me. Look that up for me. That sound way off. Yeah, I don't think that's accurate. That's not accurate, accurate, at, all. accurate yeah. at all. All right, nigga, you smart, but chill. Bro, all my female friends watch porn. 
Okay, I, but that doesn't speak for all of womenhood. Them. True. You're right. I, I can't say less or more. All the females that I know and that I'm friends with, they watch porn. Okay. Okay. And, a, and according to a recent New York report on a decade's worth of Pornhub data, women are actually watching more porn than men. Laugh at y'all dumbass selves now. <laughs> 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 Freestyle Friday, that. That, that, one, that was Freestyle that Friday. That was but. New York. Their little New York poll is Freestyle Friday, too. <laughs> we polled the bitches in New York, and in the last 10 years, nigga, man, more girls. That's just dudes using their girls' Wi Fi and shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. No. That's cool. Hey, man, thoughts and prayers. To what? To, to who? To, to, to her vagina. To her vagina, yes. To her insides, nigga. You saluting. You got me. My name is DeMarco Fleming. Are you gay? I'm bisexual. Are you top or bottom? I'm a top, dom top, aggressive top. Can you describe what yeah. dom top means? Dom top means, which means I grab you by your back and neck, put your face down, ass up, and fuck the shit out of you, and have you walk crazy for days. <laughs> Go crazy for days. Crazy for days, which means you'll be real sore, and you'll be calling me on the phone. Daddy DeMarco, I need help. I need, I'm, I'm sore. Give me some town oil. That's what that means. Okay. Uh, honestly, okay. I don't think I can handle it, but I appreciate your honesty. I know you can't handle it. I can tell the way you walk you can't handle it. My dick is big. They call me King Kong in my pants. I know you can't handle it, but I'll make sure I go real gentle with you. Because you're cute. Thank you so much. I like it gentle. All right. Okay. I got you on Thank you so much. I cannot kiss, though. You cannot kiss? No, I have a boyfriend. He has a boyfriend. I got yeah. a husband. What does that mean? <laughs> you can't see the engagement ring on my neck? Do with the program. My name is DeMarco Fleming, all right? Period. Thank you again. My pleasure. Thank you. You're awesome. DeMarco Fleming. Representing. <laughs> my man right there. That's my man right there. What's wrong there. with you? You got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Hey, hey, yo, did that notice Nigga, you be on oh. blacked. Okay. Your point yeah. is what? <laughs> but they're white girls. So you like black men. <laughs> yeah, what? But are they, are they white men on blacked? And I got to uh, get at no. you. And it's I got to get at you now. Because, boy, you gave me a hard week pause when you was like, there's videos of penises on your phone. And I was like, but a girl, but a girl sent it, Antoine. And he's like, I don't give a fuck who said that's on your phone. That. You gay nigga, you take nigga. You said, man, yeah, you, say all you, you violated <laughs> me. Nice it was flag and a spin. Nah, you violated me. And you be on blacked? <laughs> Lexington Steel. You be looking at niggas mental, that's. Lexington Steel is in your mental. Rolodex. Rolodex. No, he's the you other just nigga. called this nigga name That's out. the only nigga name I know, because right after that, I was like that. <laughs> mm. Right after that, I was like that. He nigga, you talking about when I was 18, nigga? Yeah, yeah. Lexi Yo, still yeah. Been yeah. Yeah. And yeah, Mr. Marcus. Marcus. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's the other one I know. Yeah, Them Marcus. the only two dudes okay. I know. You know the niggas on black. Wesley Pipes. You know Marcus Wilt, Marcus <laughs> Fesborn. <laughs> niggas that nobody ever heard of. Fucking yeah. <laughs> Leonard de Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know a little too much. Yo. Hey, yo. I know I don't want to fuck it up, but have y'all noticed Mel got her nails done for the first time? <clears throat> For yeah. the first time? Somebody. Her shit been, her shit been <laughs> real quick. Mel's, Mel's been here. Yeah, what that nigga Mel's did. Mel's been here for what six that months. That nigga and did. And always took pride of, oh, my nails, I don't need polish. Yeah, I don't I'm need that. I'm not doing all that. that. Oh, she's natural. Earthy. She's earthy. Oh. I'm Look on natural. Yeah. 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 So actually, she was like, I know, my manicure is just doing the cuticles. Yeah. No pain, yeah. anything. I like to be earthy by my natural nails. So that nigga took you from earthy to baddie? You know. A little French? I... Just don't try to do that to find out if a nigga wasn't it. You keep you keep saying <laughs> you, got- you keep saying that nigga that nigga that. <laughs> but, hey. Why, yeah, exactly. Hey. Why, 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 hey. why? He's the only one that can do it though. He's the only one that can segue into nah, her me, business. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Who that nigga? Can well, I ask? I look I look crazy. He's, who's that? do it? Hey yo, you are such a fronter, yo. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Man, no, that is, is that is interesting. This nigga is C O E to the nigga. But this is this is interesting. Hold up. No. And the nails match his shirt and hat, y'all nigga. Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, son? Her nails are pink. You oh my don't God, know. I love, I can you answer can you answer Flip? I just felt like it was time. Mel, be honest, hey, Mel. Mel I us. bet you did. I, I, we <laughs> know you, Mel. Mel, that's your brother, Mel. But, but yeah, as your brothers, we gotta time. when we Come smell on. bullshit, we gotta call bullshit. It was time, all right. No. I could really paint this picture, but I won't. Yeah, you stay out of this picture, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 please, please. No, no, no you I don't want to. No, 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 you don't. This shit was not painting no, to Picasso. You don't. <laughs> yeah. If I get to paint this picture. <laughs> It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. You gonna find some shit to weaponize against me? No, nope, I ain't doing this with you. But I can get you, boy. 
I, Tell I'm, us about it. I'm so fascinated. I want to know. Like, I'm here for it. I, we want to I know. swear I won't weaponize shit. I promise. Mm-hmm. I promise. I promise, promise, promise. All right, so you, after I he I'm standing this, strong-ish. So, Mel, you just woke up and said, you know, I'm going I'm to do it a little different today? You know what? The truth is... Woke up and said something else, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, babe. <laughs> Come on, I'm 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 here. I'm listening. I'm listening. The truth is, is that I, I just broke a couple of nails. That was it. So I was like, hey, let me just jazz things up. You know, that's it. That mm-hmm. was it. That's so it. You're going let me tell you, you know, I know, like when your voice start going up, she got a that. different, Shit. she got a different jazz than you listening to. Mm. I'm a jazz of things up. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I know. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Come on. I know. It's my man right there. <laughs> I jazzed it up. Who was working the drone? Um, you had drone stuff. So, huh? You had drone footage. Why you always save her, nigga? She be right I'm not there saying answer. Yeah. You stop asking nigga a question. She gonna still answer it. Man, yeah. shut up, yo. Who worked the drone ish? I don't have no idea. Okay, ask her. Wasn't me. Maybe one of them niggas. From All right, the boat. Shaggy. Look back to niggas again. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Who, who worked the drone? Um. Why you got a manicure? You know. For the first time. <sighs> Is, um, so it was a good vacation. It was a really good vacation. Mm. Like, really good. Did you relieve stress? I am stress free. Mm. Right I thought you went to Bali now. to have a first, uh, to get an interview from Russell. I thought that's yeah, how it was. No. I thought you went over there. <laughs> no, that no, was no. a narrative I painted. But. I, I heard. Okay. I'm I heard. sorry. I was just, yeah. I let you run with that. Thank you. Who worked yeah. the drone, though? Because you could, because we looked close. I zoomed in. There was no remote control next to your, your body, and there was no phone. <laughs> Oh my well, you God. can set the drone it, like automatic. You can set the exactly. button. And it'll go no, and she back. didn't. No, no. You have to go. I don't you do that. that for you a have to go next to the phone and press. No, it don't work like that, nigga. I, no. I know how to use a drone. I got a drone. You can do that. I got one too. My and I got an expensive one. I don't think I can preset mine. <laughs> you can. Oh, maybe you guys showed me. Oh wait, did you lend you her can. yours? I did not. I was just to make sure we're the same age. You can try to sneak yourself back in the mix. Nigga, keep that drone. Nigga. Keep your little drone in your little weird, your shed. So it's private. You don't want to share with us how the drone automatically flew in the air. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it was just automatic. Nigga. Yeah. It was. It was automatic. It was Got automatic. You. Exactly. We're gonna go with that one. What website you know? did you buy the ticket? The airline ticket. Did United. You? Google no, Flights? I said, I said oh. what website? Oh, United, the website. Yeah. The United. Doc- yep. Mm-hmm. Got it, got it. Don't want to really. What seat? Shut up. Um, 1A. You said we didn't hear you what? <laughs> first class? 1A. 1A. Oh, oh, yeah, that's shit. First, that's, I never had a 1. That's first class. <laughs> yeah, I'd be okay. in 1As. Okay. Yeah. Salute. But on JetBlue. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's mint. Yeah, well, no. That's first class. Damn, no, not all. Oh of them. no 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 no. JetBlue Mint. Is, oh, not no. all of them. Oh. Not all planes. And it's JetBlue Mint. Yeah, yeah. JetBlue Mint is nice. Uh-huh. JetBlue Mint is amazing. When I got on a plane. I was like, oh shit, I'm in seat three. All right, that means first class. Oh wait, ain't no first class on here. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is one of those. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Well, Mel, I, I, I'm, I'm happy that whatever uh, whoever taught you to or. <laughs> Influenced you to paint your nails. They did a great job. It was her. It was her. She just you. said she woke up you know and I mean? decided something different. It was her. And you wore a Canadian shirt. I don't know. Like you tried to throw us off. I'm on to you. I'm on to your tricks. <laughs> yeah. You I, you, this is literally just me showing my support for my countrymen. It is our you know country's birthday, and that's it. Well, gotcha. I didn't take no buckets of water over there to put the fires up. Oh shit! We walk outside. Oh on wait, the balcony. you got your nails and your feet done they matching matches. for the first yeah. time. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my God. How does the conversation look? Like, oh, hey, yo, baby girl, I ain't gonna lie. Right. Gonna beat out with the dip set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, somewhere around here. Yeah. Joe, Flip. I have an issue. My issue what is, else is you? We, you know, we was outside talking, and I was talking to Parks about, I was talking to Ish about white and black barbecues. Mm-hmm. Just making a comparison. As if I was the authority on the white I thought, barbecue. Hold on, because you both. <laughs> 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 you, you in the middle. I mean, you you, right, you, you, you right in the middle. You got a point. Did you have a white? You know what I'm saying? And he's Latin when he don't have a shape up in his face. <laughs> You look like one of them niggas on Dyke. Hey, it's my ass. Why you ain't got to shave up on a holiday weekend? Like, why your beard look uh, that's, like it's, that's like the, you let yourself go? I know that trick. That's he the throw let's, off. No, that's the throw off. The, last the scruffy ball. look, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I can still Damn do it out here. <laughs> Just give me a fitted. <laughs> no, that's the throw off. Nah, he nigga, try, I ain't even doing this nigga look up. like Dennis the Menace. He, <laughs> this nigga look like one of them fucking wild ass kids. You trying to let the... Why you wabbing your shit? The barber fucked it up. He trying to let it grow back. I haven't gotten a haircut. But why? Is your barber out of, barber town? out of town? You don't know how to cut your own hair? No. What? No. 
Hey, and don't. <laughs> <laughs> and don't, by hey, the Mark, way. Yeah. We need a little bit more than just the God. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Y'all can do the Floby. Okay. We need a little bit more. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, 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 my bad. My bad. But he, was, but he ain't hit you before you left town? Yeah, he told me that he was leaving. Oh, and you ain't feel like seeing him before? I've been just mad busy. I ain't get... I, Baby it's hard for me galore. to pri- prioritize a haircut. It's kind of hard. Keep me in the room. What? Okay, yo. Nah, it's for real. Uh, so, uh, I, you know. You on your own. You on your, you on your Look, island with that yeah, one. what you were saying, here's yo. What, here's, here's White and black barbecue. Here's what gave me a me. headache, though. So, I thought us as black people make the homemade burgers with the ground beef. It said, hell no, we don't. Park said, the white barbecues do. Yeah, we do. Let's talk about it. That's we not do. what I said. Fourth of July weekend. Let's it's, talk about it. It's some black niggas out. Not niggas. It's some black people out here. <laughs> I'm trying to stop saying the N word and the B word. You're not doing a great, great job at that. It's, it's, it's people out here that go get a box of burgers from Murray Steaks or one of them spots and throw them on the grill. Everybody ain't peppers and onions patting their own shit. <laughs> that's, that's 40 jokers out here. You think I'm going to make 80 burgers like this? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Nah. everybody ain't niggas going to get niggas going to get wait, 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 wait. Exactly, so, everybody ain't season pop shit. Choke. So throw them on the grill. This whole time, black people do not make homemade burgers at barbecues. Some do, some, some do, do, but it ain't. But a lot it, it ain't, Yeah, it ain't the majority. What about you, Paul's white boy? No, white we, we make them shits by hand. Usually, oh. usually. What's the percentage? Sixty-five. Sixty-five percent. Sixty-five percent time. Are y'all seasoning it? No, yeah. no, that's the difference. Catch up, catch up, catch up. You, you cut holders. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh shit. Wait, y'all. Wait, wait. Time out. Y'all are doing the the, the hand packed burger with no, with no I'm seasoning. No seasoning. I season my burgers, but but I your family, my my people, <laughs> my Caucasian brothers and sisters out there, they catch up. That's not seasoning. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that's Hold on, wait, wait. seasoning. Okay, see, no salt, no pepper. I'm telling you something. No peppers, Holy no onions. He's t- okay. I'm trying to. I'm, t- so I'm y'all speaking just for me. I'm pack the ground beef. And throw it on the grill. Do no. y'all put the egg in it to, to I'm hold? Sorry? You know, don't they put the egg? egg? The egg. What? No, to hold? Making, not making meatballs. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, what are you We're talking making about? making a head. No, that's good, though. No, that people, that's right. the people do eggs. The chef people put egg in the ground beef as they season it. And then put it in Keep it mine. Yeah, Absolutely. Y'all niggas, what? Y'all just be freestyling? They just wad that shit up and throw it on the grill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, white people. Well, let don't me use let y'all Larry's. know. Nigga, they using Larry's. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, but black people, for us to claim seasoning the way we do, it just be onion and garlic powder. Mm. Salt. Nah, that's no, all niggas no. sometimes. Mm. No, niggas. that's this. Salt, pepper, onion, garlic powder, some and nigga do maybe some paprika. Some Larry, some some paprika. Paprika. That's a lot. Adobo. That's a lot. That's what that's what you're that's about? That's Yo, I'm enough. nigga, that's six things that you putting on everything in the world. On a hand. That's what we do. We do, wh- wh- I'm saying we put that on everything oh, and we sure. claim seasonings kings and queens. You don't season your hamburger? No, Joe said it's six things. No, I'm asking. And then if you open the seasoning cabinet or drawer in any black person house, it's easily over 90 seasonings. Oh, yeah, it's mad 300. shit in there. Yeah. 300. Mad shit in there. Cumin. <laughs> fucking. I got shit in mine and I don't cook. <laughs> Crushed ginger. Yeah. yeah. All let, that shit. Let me let y'all know, you have never been to a Joe Budden cookout or a pool party or anything and received a patty. Mm. <laughs> Talk about it. Your father didn't play when he came I, in. That, yeah. I think I look down on that. I As think it's should. scummy. One year we did it, but we gave all the real ladies and gentlemen the good burgers. And then when the late bloomers came, they got like the little bullshit yeah, patty. Kids. Niggas, niggas you don't give a fuck about. But I'm that guy too at the cookout. Now I'm gonna bring out some shit for the crowd, but I'm gonna have some shit in the tuck hidden that Absolutely. you really can't touch or get too much of. Like Absolutely. Lobster. For the niggas yeah. with the yeah. good band to go in the kitchen. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, you was at that one? You wasn't at that one. <laughs> you was there? Niggas was tight as hell over them bands too. <laughs> that band caused yo. a lot of problems <laughs> that, that year, yo. About them bands. Yo, nah, what you mean real. I can't go in the yo. kitchen? I think that was the other time me and Vern almost squared up. <laughs> you can give him finesse. A- yeah. Wait, who squared up with finesse? Oh, finesse and Michael, Michael Paul. Paul. Oh shit! <laughs> that was the only time I ever saw my first fucking cousin get into some shit with like a friend of mine. Were they about to scrap over a wristband? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> wait, wait. Why the wristband? Who? Because he didn't want anybody. We in the had, house. we had, we had over two hundred people, mm-hmm. right? Mm. And it was a lot going on. So we did a wristband system where if you have orange, you are allowed actually to be in my home, like cool. 
If not, you had to go to the bathroom on that first floor or the little tele, the teletubby, the teleporter. <laughs> porter potty. Porter potty. That bullshit over there. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Had to watch that lucky day ass right over there. Here you go. Make a left right there, nigga. I don't care about them slaps. This ain't Neo House. <laughs> It's my man too. Shout out to Lucky Day. He performed. He killed that shit. But yeah, that ticket, that that wristband system made people that I really have relationship equity with step to me like, yo, dog, I'm trying to get in the house. And I had security. Man, security. And, and, and security was on. Security was listening to me. They was on so time. you try to get in the house, you know, they get the fuck out of here. I don't care who you said you are. We you ain't got no band? No. So they would call me. I'm not answering. It get wild. It get wild. I'm not hosting <laughs> shit for the rest of my life. Also, <laughs> let me tell y'all that. For the rest of my life, my hosting days are over. That shit is cool from 35 to 39. It's a lot of work. 34 to 39, you 33 really to 38. To... You better pick a five-year window in your 30s keep going to have a blast. To you don't get to enjoy yourself, really. By the time you, you hit 40 and 41, all of that, it's nah. Over. It's over. I just want to say one more thing. Keep your fucking kids at home. Throw them their own That's barbecue. That's dead ass. Yeah, throw them their own barbecue. It's true. <laughs> Bring all the little kids in, in a little living room. Let them play with Legos and little video games. Don't bring them to the barbecue. Y'all invite y'all kids to adult functions. Talk about And y'all don't invest in the big blow-up house the to keep the shit. fucking little badass kids busy. <laughs> hey, little nigga, go bounce up and down for the next five hours, all right? Mom and dad over here. Plate. Yeah, we getting drunk. Spray we turning it up. Plate, nigga. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck your little kids. Kids, kids shouldn't be there. <laughs> kids shouldn't be there. For real, fuck their kids. Y'all niggas is crazy. They're bringing the kids. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Y'all niggas is crazy. No, 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 no. I'm a dad. I disagree with you, dad. Of the you, year. Believe you, a, you, you believe taking your child to an adult barbecue, ass running around, you go, you, you, no. Okay. No. I'm talking about one with the ass. We're just talking about a bar, well, that type of barbecue. Babies. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. I'm not talking about the family. That's more like a pool party kind of situation that you're talking about. We're not talking about <laughs> with Big Mama and them and they, hey, child, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the, the ass out barbecue that start six in the afternoon. So you think the niggas at the ass out barbecue is. Or they throwing Smushing patties, patties on the girl. No, nah, they trying to. Nah, they throwing. They hooking it up. See, hooking what up? See, See? They hooking something up. They hooking up that nigga, motherfucking that hookah Ciroc. hose. You don't want to give up that Ciroc. You don't want to give the hose a nasty burger. I'm That's really right. No, but you know yeah, what's okay. so crazy? I'm really surprised I'm because I don't know what the fuck in the Caribbean we make the patties. The, we we got Murray steaks here. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Man. You got to take your Joe time. And Joe Pops coming here. He got a fresh... Like, a whole... Joe's Pops is coming in here making Joe burgers Bob's for the... Joe, nigga. <laughs> so I don't know if you know how to make patties. <laughs> nigga, the night, the night before, I'm going to get the green peppers, the onions. I'm taking that Papa Joe mold. Mm -hmm. Like He might not want to put the effort in. That's when the real men are made. Chop that shit up. Put it in the ground beef. Use your hands. Get in there. Season it up. Put it in the fridge. Let it marinate. Get your shit off. Yeah. I don't even want to go to nobody's shit if you ain't prepared nothing the night before. Yeah, you're doing nice. everything the day of. That ain't, and then, that, and ain't, then, that, ain't, that ain't the, the cookout with the host. That's that not that cookout. No cookout with that's the not host. that cookout. That's the family that cookout. cookout with the family. The cookout no, with the host, we just got a bunch of liquor. Cool. I, yeah, I disagree with that. I disagree 100%. Hey, girl, I disagree I with that. I'm trying to show out with the host. Yeah. Right. The host ain't even there to eat like You better put oh, you ice top on and show you bugging. Not like that. They're not ice bugging. Ice bugging. The host don't know how to feed themselves. They eat all day. Listen to what I'm saying. They waited to come in. Listen to what I'm saying. You bugging. I'm not. They're not there to be picky on the eating. Because if you eat whatever. Whatever fucking the food is there, them thirsty, hungry Nigga, dogs they are going to have flat ass dry they patties. They're going to have their hands. Hold up. Hold up. They try to have this. Y'all are crazy. Like Y'all are crazy. Yeah, I hate these two. I hate them. <laughs> hey, yo, Aki, if you think, I don't like them. How you gonna eat before you, you go to the barbecue, nigga? If you think the onion powder and me. the peppers are getting you some box, you are it's gonna help. Serious? No, it ain't. Antoine, you are wrong. Good you are food. wrong. Women love good you food. You are wrong. They do. Not at the cookout with the holes in the pool running around. The last thing on their mind is the fucking it's lasagna. How good the fucking yeah, exactly. Y'all are wrong. Big bug. Are wrong. Big bug. Okay. No, we're not. Y'all are wrong. Okay. Keep it up. I'm, I'm exposed ice about what he was doing in the pool that one year. <laughs> what the fuck that got, what, what that got to do with the host? He, the he food. Made, the, yeah, those was made, real burgers look, at that shit. That shit that had you in the pool. <laughs> that shit that had you in the pool while Glenn Lewis, <laughs> Donnell Jones was playing. <laughs> when you was massaging a yeah. little jacuzzi. Nah, I don't, that, no, remember no, when you was in the... No, hey, I let, no, All right, I but let me remind you. Remember when you was in the jacuzzi for like nine hours after hours? A no, long time trunk. That wasn't even Long me. time trunk. That wasn't even me. Long time You never been in the water that long, nigga. That onion. 
Ta da! I Someone can't believe did. y'all. Huh? Someone else. Don't did. invite me to no man. shit where you got man. them bum ass Listen. patties that they sell a hundred in the fucking box to the your shit. The thing that you could serve have some class. The glizzies. You have the glizzies for the people that don't give a fuck. Oh, so you buy, you buy cheap glizzies? No, you get nice glizzies, but... What, what bread do you use over there? What bread do you get? You get Nathan's, you get Hebrew National. What you bread know? do y'all use, though? I just told you. Nathan's, Hebrew no, National. No, bread. Oh, bread. Potato. potato. Oh, I don't potato. play. It's potato. I don't yeah. skim. Always. Good job. I don't, I don't yeah. cheat Good. my Should guests. Be yellow, get it the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's racist. Huh? Yeah. Just be careful. Be careful, guy. <laughs> I'm trying to put two and two together. I'm going to let it pass. I'm going to let it go. You ever been on Black Planet? Uh, no, I wasn't aware of it. Oh, <laughs> got him. We got him. Yeah, he got him. That's racist. I wasn't aware of it. You wasn't aware of How black. What's the name of the site for all the white dudes that's well hung? White planet. Is it, is it whited? <laughs> whited? Whited. 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 Whited out. <laughs> Withered. Horse. Whited out. Horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's you never been yeah. on Black Planet. No. Oh, shit. Hmm. Man. You ever been on me, Hente? Man, you no. missed it. Oh, no, you really oh, missed man. it. I know I did. Only oh. Tinder, plenty of fish, stuff like that. Yeah, because by the time Tinder and all that shit was out, them shits wasn't really popping anymore. Yo, yeah. back speaking of Tinder, I put skewers out on the phone. Like, y'all, what type of peasant Newark <laughs> barbecues are y'all going to? Yo, I put skewers you, out for nigga niggas. Like what I'm telling you is this. What the fuck is Mari? And making short- them shits is a lot. That's labor. That is labor. The skewer? It you is. Mm-hmm. There. That shit is. But that's the fun part, I think, of the cookout is the, the preparation the night before. I agree. Indeed. It, it is. It is. Or you that's wake up butt ass cookout. early and, and do it. People are yeah. happy. When you have good food at a barbecue, it's the, the, the morale is yes. the energy Hot. is different. The family it's barbecue. Yes. No, no, I see. There are not, two different barbecue ish, that's scenarios. That's true. All right. I'm I see the nigga, you 50, man. Mute up. We don't. You're right. I'm with it. You're right. the niggas with the lasagnas and the ZDs and all that shit in the backyard. That's Spanish people. No, that's black people, too. For the family shit. Nigga, stop it. For, at bro. the family one. At the yes, family that's one. That's what we're talking about. Because y'all are losers is what we keep saying. I'm telling Only you. Only y'all are going to the shit. family cookout. <laughs> y'all don't know no bitches. <laughs> hey, Joe. Yo, y'all don't know no hey. badass girls. Go to the broke cookout. That can help you out. You my man. You don't go to your family cookout? No. No, nigga. Wasting our family in decades. You might have seen a family cookout. Because I haven't been in decades. I've been with the sundresses. The swimming, swimming drop. Nigga, we in a pool. We outside. Ah, ah. I go with the BBLs is there, all right? In the fashion the family. Shits. Here you go with and your nieces and nephews. Oh, how school, you man. You think the BBLs, oh. Cam, that burger was patted or exactly. off yes. the box? Yes, yes, they do. No, yes, no, they no, do. No, they don't. Y'all out y'all. They, they care if your cash app work. You're wrong. <laughs> That's what they care about. You're wrong. Right. Y'all how many girls with BBL you fucked in your life? Both of you. You can't act a question like that. So two. No, I'm no more than two. So three. Yo. I'm asking. I don't know, and I don't want to infer. You know it's more than three. I don't know. I don't know what your dick do, nigga. You be on black. I, what? 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 Uh, how many? Like five? He be on black trying to compare his strokes. <laughs> Getting beat out every time, nigga. Oh, and eighty-two. It's like on the back porch talking about the black niggas. Yeah, you got the nigga in your mental roller deck. Who me? No, I was surprised that nigga put me on that shit, nigga. Still the nigga like this, nigga, like a horse. Nigga. I said, oh, shit. You out there going to take horses lessons? No, no okay. Hey, yo, <laughs> yo, I have a question real quick. Yes. Parks. Yes. Now, I've learned this you recently. You escaped too, and you, I bitch did. ass. Caribbean ass. household, we clean our meat paws mm-hmm. <laughs> with either vinegar or lemon juice. Or lemon, lemon juice. That's mm-hmm. black too. That's black people. Black. Yeah. A lot of black people said from the south that they don't. They just wash their meat with chicken. Some people came on my Instagram. Wash their meat with chicken. <laughs> not wash their meat with just water. They came on my Instagram and said it. Said niggas don't be using all that shit. Parks, do white people clean their chicken? Water. They don't clean their bodies. Why are you <laughs> to- <laughs> Wait, parks. <laughs> parks, parks what? Right, water. Yes. If that, if that. Nah, white people got to clean their legs this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be out here in shorts. Pops, I just, you just, I just use a washcloth. Water. Oh wait, all right. So how many of y'all do use use a loofah or some type of shit like that in the me, shower? Me. I use a washcloth. I'm definitely a loofah nigga. All right, do y'all? Washcloth. All right, do y'all loofah? You loofah your legs? Yeah. Tell me how. <laughs> Put, like, tell me how you do it. Up. All right, now what you do? You no, I don't know what that means. Yeah, well, just I don't know what that means. Nigga, you just go. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm give you a demonstration. No, know. no, I don't want that, but no, uh, you just, do you do bend you over or do you pick your legs yeah, up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put it on the wall? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Yo, you are flexible, nigga. You are flexible, fifty year old. Huh? I see your knee got better, nigga. <laughs> that baby shower boy. Oh man, this nigga. So you lift your legs up? 
Yes, Yo, dog, I use a washcloth. I put my leg on the edge of the tub and I wash my fucking leg and my foot off. <laughs> you so light skinned. This nigga, yo. <laughs> you, so you, light -skinned. You, take a, you take a shower. You don't have a. You, I feel like you might well, have exfoliation you, gloves. Well, on, I feel like no. you got the wheelchair. You with all your money. I mean, bro, what's the seat for the old people in the shower? You said what? You with all that, like. All that money and shit like that, and you do construction. You don't have a shower and a tub. You I, a, so you, you take a shower in the tub, like you stand in the tub and let the shower run while you're Yes, nigga, oh. yes. shoot at you, sir. No, I'm not. All right. All right so what? So okay. what you put your foot up on? That's my son. The tub. The side of the tub. What you mean? So you don't have a separate shower from the tub? No. Wait, your shower was the tub. Yes. <laughs> All right. No, wait. <laughs> Elitism coming. <laughs> he can't help it. He can't fucking help it. That's just how East Orange houses was built. Like they, they don't even put the. <laughs> I love this nigga. I, I, I only, he don't even get our joke. I, can't, I, I, got, I, don't you, I got the joke. I can't Wait, you take you take a shower in the bathroom? Yeah. How about you? I have a shower. In I have a, a shower. I have a shower tub. and a tub. Right. Got gotcha. okay. Salute. Okay. I have. Several, how about you? Several showers. I have a separate shower. So I. What do you think of them not? I mean, if you don't have the separate shower, the he can put it in there if he you wanted to. Tone, right? you the tone says You can put it in there. Yeah. You can do it yourself. How often you clean your uh, sh uh, shower lining? I just change them. Yeah. I don't clean yeah, I them. How them. often? Your lining? Like probably every week, right? Throw them away. I change them. Yo, <laughs> you still got like the... I'm fucking tired of you <laughs> niggas. Because why y'all so broke? <laughs> Maybe that's a testament to you. <laughs> oh. we, can't afford, we can't afford a jacuzzi with a stand-up shower house. Tell them what you make. <laughs> oh, why do you always do that? It's just, it might be a testament to me. Yeah, they'll start laughing. It might be. They'll start laughing. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, they would. At who? Me. Yeah, you fucking right. <laughs> they start laughing. Like, damn, that's what y'all doing? Stop, yo. Stop. How often do you throw away the shower liner? Probably like once a month. You don't got the doors? Uh -uh. Should be mildewy. <laughs> well, he don't have the doors because he take a shower in his bathtub. But sometimes no, but they got doors. 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 You can get doors. Yeah, <laughs> doors. <laughs> they they bad poor. Oh shit! Wait, where you get your shower curtain from? I yeah. love you everywhere. You bought me look anywhere. The fucking shower curtain. Can I call the liner? Can I get the acrylic? What's what's on your shit? Like what's the design? The shower liner, like a whale. The Transformer. <laughs> Yo. I just got Steve Jobs on it. <laughs> he got the new iPhone on his shit. Yo, why? I don't want y'all to be bums. Yo, that's funny. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, these niggas are so bums. Y'all niggas get too much money to do that, bro. When well, y'all gonna change your life, honestly? About? You get a lot of money, son. Y'all can't put a oh, tub, a, a shower in your bathroom? This nigga builds them and can't get one. <laughs> I got a shower. He know how to make it. He don't want to do it. Let me let me ask you. When a lot, when was your Ask me. When was your house built? Oh, bro. I'm just asking. Oh. The one where I live in Jersey? Oh, you oh live in Jersey? Oh my god. <laughs> See your man? He said the one where I live I in know, Jersey. I know. Yeah, you broke ass nigga. I got a pool back there. I said when was the house built? Uh, and I know and I know the city. So now I'm going to keep it a buck. Nigga, you might not have no stand up shower and a jacuzzi in your house. How much would a bet? You might not. Now, they you, now you're getting you defensive, wanna, I'm not getting trying to fire at my I'm man. Not, that's my man. How much you want to bet? That's not your man. How much you want to bet? That is my man. Because my Uncle Barry, who oh, did construction Jamaican. like him. Here, Jamaican. <laughs> Here comes Jamaicans. Uh, my Uncle Barry, uh, an my Ian Uncle type man. Jerry. Yes. I, got, I might know him, and I see. Well, again, your house. He built one in there. I bet he did. That shit probably the size of that. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> We're going to see. Let's get it. That's cool. We're going to see. Let me come to your crib and I'll write you to mine. I, I don't have a problem with that, Aki. All right, that's it. You fucking put, you your, put your foot on the edge of the tub. Yeah. Oh, she had toes and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yes. You shower going and hitting your back and falling on the water, you, nigga. Yeah. Falling on the floor. What's, the, what's wrong with that? You put towels on your floor? No. Towels? What? Do you put towels on your How you, you dry in the tub? I dry in the tub and I got a. Bath mat. It's a bath, bath mat. I'm just making sure you're on some, you're on some broke shit, on some old school shit. I'm broke though. No, you're not. No, you're not. I didn't say you was broke. How about that? You get too much money not to put a, build a shower in your bathroom, Ishmael. No, I'm not. How you? How do you wash your back? <laughs> like every other man, I'm sure in here wash their back. <laughs> He's Lord, sticky. Now you get, you take now your you get I'm about to tell you. Now you, you get your defensive with me. You get what you can get from the top. Wait, do you stick your shit to the wall? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do? No, I don't. Yo, come on, wait. No, I'm gonna you use your washcloth. You take. So you do the top. With you your, go to the top. You go, go to the bottom, and yeah. then you do the chicky. I got, I got the shit with the, with the different. Wait, you doing the wait, chicky chicky with a washcloth? Big ass washcloth. <laughs> Big ass washcloth. Wait, how you do it? Yo. So you take a washcloth, a washcloth, 
and do the shiki shiki behind your back? Yeah, nigga, in the areas that you can't reach. Forward facing, or do you like to turn around? Yo, I'm asking. What you talking? I'm asking. I, Yo, this is weird to me. How you wash your back? If that's weird, I I do the. You want me to do it? Yeah. Want me to show you for real? Yeah, you sure. gonna steal my style? I'm definitely not. <laughs> you are. Trust you. I do what you do with the soap, but then I rinse it off, right? And sometimes I freak it, like I stand face forward with the water, but then when it, I turn around on them. <laughs> that's why this is funny. That's not washing your when back. You, wait, I'm not done. Okay, I'm not done. All right, I'm at, Go ahead. I have a back. Scrubber, like the scratch, like stop playing with me. My girl laced me, same way she did this shit over here. She went and bought all that girly bullshit I would never buy. I got the long back scrubber scratcher, but this is the funny part I want to get to. After I do the soap, because I'm not really clean, but it's just the soap, I hit the body wash. Now this is where it gets tricky. Two squirts with the body wash. Mm -mm. The first, the first squirt, you get the top like normal. <laughs> But the second skirt, you got to do some pistol peach shit. <laughs> you got to throw it up <laughs> and then catch it and then get the back scrubber. Yeah, I do that. I don't care. I tore. I'm good at it too. <laughs> Why do you just pour it on your back like this? Ew, nigga. You pour the jelly down your back? I, yo. I use, I use, <laughs> oh, hey, yo, I use, I use Dr. Broner. All right, let's nigga. move on. Bro. I use Dr. You Broner. You pour it down your back? I take Dr. Broner's, nigga. Like a pancake? You put the boners on your back. Dr. Broner's. <laughs> Dr. Yes. Broner's. I use that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, so you're like she playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. So, but you want to know what's so crazy? What's crazy? What I have, I have a back scrubber attached to the wall in my shop. And an anonymous person working a drone that could scratch my back. If I wanted to, right? So, man, you like this? That's exactly what I do in the shower. Hey! Wait, in the shower on some. Forget the, it. <laughs> Shut up. We're talking about showers. We took the class. We took the class. Yeah. We took the class. I, I, I definitely took it. All right, so, my last question: Could we leave this? The sucking like, stuff you put on the wall. Oh, got Touch you. class. Touch class. <laughs> Yo, Ish, you can't say that. Bro. I was, I was talking to Park. Suction. It's still invasive. Today. Do you do the swishy <laughs> thing like when you're trying to clean a gooch? No. Just, no. And uh, hands reach. Yeah, okay. I can get there. Do you bend over? No, it's in hands. So you reach. stand straight up. Yes. How you rinse the soap? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You make wait, sure. Wait, you... hold up. Hey, hold on. How you rinse the soap? Wait, hold on. Put the leg up and just get up under it. You know That's saying? how you, you fucking busy. Leg. I don't put my leg. <laughs> the leg on the side. I, I get. No, I got. I, 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 I put the no. leg on the side. Same way. Yo, it really be the simple conversation. Do y'all niggas? No, this is gonna sound a little. How high you lift your leg up? No, I just stand on the side. I'm talking about like standing shit on the side. This is gonna sound flame. Wait, you stand your leg like this? <laughs> nigga, put your foot on the side of the toilet. Holy like, nigga, shit, you, cool you are feminine. Yes, because I'm getting up in my shit, pause. <laughs> so I got two questions for y'all. First yeah, question is if you, take, if you take a shower after you or take down there, after you take, <laughs> I get down to the after, after you take a shower, if you got a shit, are you shit in and then going right, back in the shower? Yeah, you get nah, right. Nah, I shit before I shower anyway. Always. What if you have to shit? Wait, after wait, wait, wait. I'm getting and, back in the shower. And you flush? Yeah. Before you shower? Yeah. Because you'll forget about it if you don't. I know. I <laughs> can you, can so you don't flush while you taking a shower? It don't affect your water at all? No. No. Hey, yo, stop playing with me, all right? Stop, hey, stop hey, playing hey, with so me, son. You, so you, so I don't know. <laughs> you niggas I get what you saying, extra bro. poor, yo. I don't know what's going on. No, you can flush so you, the toilet, all right, bro. All right, go home. Gotcha. We got it. Let's move on. Okay. Let's move. Niggas, it's crazy. Holy shit. Why that foot is moving, boy? Bro, my foot. Y'all do the... Hey, man. Listen. Bathtub boys. <laughs> oh shit! This nigga's still showering in the bathtub. <laughs> I, I, I hope to be. Y'all take baths? Yes. Yes. Okay. In the uh, bathtub. You're like really, bubbles. Really stressed, right? It's been a long uh, day. Bubbles? <laughs> I take baths too. Absent. I don't really. Bubble oh, yeah, you told us that last time. <laughs> right, I fell asleep in my shit. Let me stop fucking with you. Said what? I fell asleep in my tub. You got a pillow. In your bathtub? No, no I'm just no. saying. You can fit in a regular tub. Oh, shit. Yo. 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 Hold it in. Hold it and ignore it. Yeah, say something. I'm not laughing at that. Uh, I, I, you're my man. That's not funny. And you don't have the regular tub. Like them niggas. Them niggas got your, you got your great grandma's sure. combo. The With the little, the little, little flowers. <laughs> I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah, I have so many home questions for y'all now, but we can move on. Come on, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you speaking from a, a place of privilege, yo. Stop doing that to your niggas, bro. Like I, I, only, the only I, nigga we I should condemn is this nigga because he can build the shower. I didn't know that they were still in the bathtub doing that. <laughs> you could build the shower in your crib, nigga. Your bathroom is big enough. You could open the wall. I could. Yeah, your you, bath. Y'all <laughs> use face soap? Yes. No. 
I use black soap. What do you use your uh, Dove, regular Dove? To, to wash you, your face? So you use your body soap on your face. Mm-hmm. With the hair on it, nigga? <laughs> what? You ain't say you wash your balls in your ass and then put it on your face. <laughs> I use regular Dove soap on my face. Ish. Some people use separate products yeah, for their face and their body. Products. I don't. I okay. use regular okay. Dove soap for my face. Your pores is clogged. <laughs> no, they not. My skin look way dark. Are you using a rag on your hands to wash your ass? Your pores is clogged. No, I don't put the rag on my face. No, are you using you a rag to wash your ass. on your hand to wash your ass? Oh, the rag. After you take a shit, are you using your hand to wash your ass? Oh, All right, we got it. Yeah. We got it. We got it, y'all. We did it. We did it. All right, I'm yeah. just saying. We Some niggas, it. is, 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 is dirty. All right. We did it. You gotta rinse the rag out. Right. Uh, yeah. right. Just tell me. It's wipes in the Give world. me your come on, it's fourth of July. It's fourth of July weekend. Give me your give me your etiquette for for showing up to a cookout that you were uninvited to. What's the first thing you do? First you gotta show up with something. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's show all grip. You gotta come with a bottle. No, something bottle. decent too. Yeah. You couldn't gotta be, wait till somebody come more. outside that you know. I'm not even showing up. And walk with them inside. You just went to the baby show. Show I got invited, nigga. You didn't. (laughs) I did, though. Nobody that got invited, the person that did the invites, because that's what she said. She said, I I did the invites. So? I got invited. (laughs) But not by invite. Like verbal. Yeah, verbal. So when they did the invites... I, so he was like a plus one's plus one. No, nigga, I got invited. A nigga said, yo, plus two. here go the address, pull, pull up. up. But was he? Was it his baby shower? I don't know nothing, no. So he was. it was his man baby shower. All right, so you was... A plus one's plus I one. I got invited. Plus two. Yeah. Fuck y'all talking. I got invited, nigga. I ain't show up. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't Tupac, nigga. But yeah, you start, you got to bring something. Did something you bring decent. anything with you? I thought it, no. I didn't okay. know it was a baby shower. But you knew it was a birthday gift. You know it was a party. Gift. I knew it was a, a birthday bur- party. Damn, you got rid so of you didn't bring anything to the birthday party. Oh, yeah, you got that shit out Not of there. Not a card. <laughs> a big ass solid gold case. <laughs> a heavy ass case wasn't working no more. <laughs> Yo, can you hear me or nah? Now I can. Yo, whoever did the invites for the baby shower, did Ish get an invite? Like on paper? No. <laughs> Nat did the invite. Did he get one on paper? She said no. There is no paper invite. Oh, did he get the evite? Hello? I did not do the invite. Aha, uh-huh, goof, uh-huh. sure <laughs> uh-huh, goof troop. Aha, goof troop. Didn't work. Where's the gold case at? Yeah, get rid of that shit. That shit heavy as fuck. Broke my finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's home. It's in my drawer. <clears throat> hey, Nat, you did the invites for the baby shower? Yeah. Did Ish get an invite? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, yo. <laughs> All he right. Wasn't on the list oh, shit, damn. It's all right though. He I'm, came, I'm he lost. Came with, he came in team with his blue pants on. And a t- and a white t shirt, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was the theme? I mean baby boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he ate? Oh, he ate a whole plate. Fast too. <laughs> he ate it fast. <laughs> God, he gobbled that shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, move on. What else? What else? Is, what else is unimportant? Well, no, we still on Fourth of July, so um, I ain't, I'm not bringing shit to the cookout I wasn't supposed to be at. Oh no, you gotta bring something. You have mm-hmm. to bring something. A little bottle, twelve yeah. pack, something. No, no, I'm not doing that. You just showing up. How am I supposed to remain inconspicuous? Well, you're not gonna yeah, remain inconspicuous, gonna... Joe. Buddy, yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, that's yeah. What the fuck is he talking about? I think people are gonna. I ain't gonna lie, son. You look fly today, son. I'm, I'm admiring that polo shit you put together. Like the sneak, like that. For the first time, it's all coordinated. <laughs> for the first time. No, for real. Now that shit flies, huh? Are you really him today, huh? <laughs> I like that for yeah, real. look good. But Marshall's polo is dope. <laughs> <laughs> they got good, good polo in Marshall. So Fourth of July, <laughs> TJ right. Max. You can rack up in that motherfucker. I wouldn't know. <laughs> My nigga bought that off. He didn't buy that. Nigga bought that off. Burlington. Yeah. Target. Oh, please. Nah. 
That shit fly. That nigga, I, 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 that nigga like reverted that back to his outlet days. No, no, I don't do me like that. I, I ain't say nothing, bro. I'm just give me a thumbs up, my nigga. Fly, it's fly. Give me a thumbs up. I'm over here looking at you like, damn, I just got that shit. Together, Yo, you stop looking at niggas, All right, come bro. on, come okay. on. We done, we done, we done. What do y'all think about the uh, that report that came out about the Squid Games, uh, Squid Games owner not getting no money because they signed some, <laughs> they signed some bullshit and Netflix caked off and it pushed their evaluation like over 900 million or something like that. He said he won a million episode, the guy. You got the drop, right? <laughs> they got him. Fucking got him. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting it, nigga. That's fucked up, though. That's super foul. It's, it's the business. Entertainment what? business. Yeah. The business. Ain't nothing else new. It's the entertainment business. They came up. It's no different than an artist signing Nigga. some shit and go Mar- sell, go Marlon go Wayans diamond. and them said they, they uh that shit they did, mm-hmm. the, the don't go drinking and all that, and the white don't chicks. A, don't be a menace. They sold that shit for the short. We got them. Yes. Yeah. We fucking got them. Squid Game increased the value of Netflix by an estimated $900 million. It also made South Korean writer and director Hwang Dong Hyuk Famous but not rich. In his contract, he had forfeited all intellectual property rights and received no residuals. Why is that fucked up? Well, I mean, the thing was, wasn't the show made and a failure over there, and then they kind of came in and bought it on the cheap? Supposedly, that's what I heard. I think that was the story. I think that's what they do with a lot of them grand. I think that's what uh, you was the same type of thing, where it it got dropped at the network, and they came in, swooped it up. And they gave gave him 100 grand. They were just happy to get it off. That 100 grand for him might have been life-changing at that point. I'm sure it probably was. And see, that's the thing. When you start looking at these situations, you wouldn't have got that hundred grand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Your show flopped. It was a failure. You mm-hmm. wouldn't have got nothing. So at the time of you signing that hundred grand deal, you happy as fuck. Mm-hmm. You made something out of something. Now you funny. go look and say, oh, it did this. I got robbed. I got this. No, you didn't. Well, they you should have, they should have probably had something in the in the contract where if it blows up, I get mm-hmm. some meager. So you don't, don't get mad at Netflix. They be so thirsty to sign, man. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So... That's the business. You, These fucking companies you, you, catch you. You sign it. See, sucks, what, I, what I don't like about contracts, though, is when you sign it, and in the moment, you feel like, all right, I'm good. I'm happy. This is what I want. You didn't feel like you feel right now the day you signed that contract. True. So, And that's the thing about contracts. You got to always plan for not only the worst case scenario, but the best case scenario. Mm-hmm. True. At least leave a sliver of, you know, had he taken a, a point. Well, I don't know what the standard would be in, mm-hmm. in this type of deal, but let's say a point is minuscule, but it's something in there in case it does And something. for me, yeah, not mm-hmm. to say that a he wouldn't have still ended up with the same exact deal, but at least you go to bed knowing you asked. Mm-hmm. That too. If they say no, they say no, and you do what you got to do, but closed mm-hmm. mouth don't get fed. True. Yeah. What do y'all think yeah. about all of the layoffs from ESPN? They are it's now reported heads. that they have separated from Jeff Van Gundy, Jalen Rose, LaFonzo Ellis, Max Kellerman, Keyshawn Johnson. They all got fired? And Susie Colbert. And, you said it was 20, pe- uh, 20 some people. Not Mel Kuyper, but the other draft analysis dude. Uh, McShay. Todd McShay? <laughs> they got rid of Todd McShay? Mm-hmm. You said 20 people. This is a lot of people. That's a lot. And big names, too. This yeah. is not. Not run of the mill shit. This Jeff Van Gundy was there 16 years. Jalen Rose, 15 years. And, and he's been impactful. Jalen yeah. Rose is really starting to turn up. I don't understand. Well, they say in an effort to save millions. So I guess that's the bottom line. But mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure all these, like I said, they're big names. So they're probably, that means they're expensive names. True. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know Jalen Rose was there that long. Because now he's getting more on-camera footage. Like sure he might have been working behind closed doors before. But Jalen Rose for 15 years wasn't in front of the camera. Now he's in in front of the camera, shape up, looking like Jesus did it, and he's starting to get his. Well, you got to think we we old, right? So Jalen, Jalen, I remember his argument with Skip Bayless on first take. Mm-hmm. And if Skip and, and Shannon show has been on for seven years, seven years, years. that had to be McShay's ten been years. McShay's ago. been there since '06. What do these people go to do now? Since their brand, we kind of know them from. I'm sure FS1 will be a landing spot for a lot of them. I'm sure some of them will go the independent podcast, YouTube show kind of route. If I had to guess. Mm-hmm. I'm sure FS1 is waiting right outside that door to poach a couple of them, though. Yeah, they are. Max, yeah, but... Max will be Yo, I'm tomorrow. telling you what's going to happen is I think they're going to, with all of their fires, all they're going to do is strengthen FS1. And I hasn't uh, I know HBO has been dabbling a little they got uh, mm-hmm. what's his name over there um, 
So I mean, Bomani. They got Bomani over there. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to bring in more people. And I wouldn't be surprised if the other competing networks, Showtime, Netflix even, might want to start delving into some sports shit. Fox got football on Smash. They could start to maybe jump into basketball waters a little bit. YouTube with the NFL deal might want to have some exclusive. That's true. Sporting shit of their own. Gotcha. There might be some new shit coming up with that mm -hmm. for sure. What does this do to ESPN's programming? It's Waters be, it down. It's going to be the Stephen it, A. and Pat McAfee shows. Yeah. Nah, it depends on who they put back. So they said that they um, are going to go to J.J. Reddick, um, Doris Burke. We love Doris Burke. Um, Richard Jefferson. I don't think like Richard Jefferson as much. He a little dry to me. But um, J.J. I think will bring some new shit. They ain't say nothing about J. Will. They might try to give him a better role. J. Will is, is great. He's been killing it. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the females, I don't know all of their names, but a lot of the women, women yeah. have really mm -hmm. been stepping up in sports broadcasting. So mm -hmm. I think they'll start getting shots too. Okay. Well, we shall see, goddamn. It's a lot That's of a other lot. people. That's it's a probably a lot of money too. They said, um, whatchamacallit, he in, in, he in the second year of an $18 million deal. Who? Max. Sheesh. How many years do you know? Five. I'm bad at math. What's that? It ain't that much. 3.5 maybe? Three point something. It's not a bad salary though. <laughs> that ain't bad. Cause he don't he don't be on all day every day like some like of these Stephen other guys. Yeah. Stephen A. Yeah. But three point something. So again, I don't, I don't count on nobody's pockets. But let's say you could go give JJ Reddick a two, two something a million one point five. You might go give J Will get two of them for one. And then get, go get Pat McAfee on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling y'all about having a, having a proven concept that you've proven on your own outside of them. That's really what it is. It, 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 give, it gives you value. I made it work. Now imagine with y'all behind me, it'll really work. It gives you value, mm -hmm. but it it changes value. Mm -hmm. It changes value. They, you can't. They can't come to you and attempt to place a value on it, on you, on True. nothing. True. I have this on my own. I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing. What's up? Like, you can't come to Pat McAfee and say, I got $10 million for you and your team, all inclusive for the. Huh? Oh, he's a nigga laugh laugh at you. Good, luck, you good luck with that. Last time I saw Jay Will, uh, him and I were part of the people that were auditioning to get like a morning show gig on NBC. Mm. And they brought a bunch of us in there. And Jay Will, when I was speaking to him, shout out to him, uh, was like, what you doing here? just started preaching to me the importance for him, Duke guy, you know, he's smart as, mm -hmm. smart Big as old Wazoo. The importance to him of building his own shit outside of ESPN and the time to do that is now. He started telling me he felt like he was late to that party and this was a few years ago. So, I mean, I can imagine what the sentiment is among yeah. athletes. You see J.J. Reddick doing it. Like, you see a bunch of them doing their own shit and developing their own shit for this reason right here, man, the jig is up at a lot of places. All of that, just funneling money, allocating all these millions to just go wherever. Nah, it's over for that and, one. And it's a, over for that ball. And a lot changed, yo. Like, podcast. Before it changed. was, all, yeah, like before ESPN was the go to, mm -hmm. it was like the only game in town for the most part. I mean, you had other players. Now, like you said, podcasting here. I watch more it, sports it, shows off of. TV than I do Off on network. TV. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like shows on YouTube, podcasts. Mm -hmm. The, the money is. probably ain't the same coming in over there. So then you start to look around like, yo, we, we're paying all of this. We got to... I think their money's still up because they still got deals with the, the respective leagues. Respective leagues, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, of course. You know what I'm saying? The NCAA, they still get money. The NBA, they still get money, but, but I the, still think they... The, the actual content And shows. that Pat McAfee shit might have really... We joking, but... That I, don't, shit, I don't get that joking. shit. Man. <laughs> that was during. It was like a four-hour slot during the prime talk show hours, and he's getting paid. And it's a great show. So again, we might got to cut twenty million worth of salaries just to get him over here. Mm. That's a lot of money, my nigga. I have a talk show question that I want to present to y'all, but while we're on sports, uh, a new list, a new rankings list. You know, we love those. Mm. Has right. Ja Morant ranked? 15 slots better than Ray John Rondo for top point guards of all time. I want to say it's John impossible. Morant might be 30 on that list, and Ray John Rondo is 45. Never. I want to ask you guys how y'all feel about that. I don't like that. Let's, let's see who it's knows blasphemous. basketball and who doesn't. It's blasphemous. I don't like that at all. And I love John Morant, but 
He's got to prove it more. He's only been yeah. in the league a couple of years. Like Rondo. that sounds like a lot of recency bias, and he didn't even prove it. Even in the even if you want to use recency bias, he has not. Not just that, yo. I don't have John Morant as better than Ray John Rondo Never. today. Me, Never. Me, I don't. I'm just saying. Never. But as in, if it's a younger person who might not be as familiar with Ray John Rondo, I could see them throwing that name in there. That's all. That's the only well, then, yeah, way it would make sense. Cool, but 15 slots? Even to the, to the person that wants to say John Morant is better than Rondo. 15 slots? I want to know what like, other names is in there. Like, in that gap. Who else y'all got better than Ray John Rondo? Bro, listen. Ray John Rondo was an NBA champion. Twice, right? That's one. And he... Didn't he win one with, with the, the Lakers? With the Lakers? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. The, the bubble. Yeah. Remember he came back, he was hurt, we was getting our ass whooped, and he, he kind of calmed it down. LeBron even told him, mm-hmm. yo, we don't win this if it's not for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, two-time champion. He also played the point guard with three bona fide Hall of Famers, and he had to settle them niggas down. They said he was as feisty. They used to be fighting them in practice. Mm-hmm. Him and Doc Rivers, they said, literally got in a fist fight. You a rookie point guard. You a second-year point guard. You fighting Doc Rivers, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how feisty he is, and that's how much he, you know what I'm saying, really wanted to win. That's how fiery he was. He's definitely, John Morant is a better physical talent than Rajon Rondo, mm-hmm. but he not a better point guard than Rajon Rondo. Yeah, I'm with you. Like I'm not with you on that. Not at this stage in his career, at least. Yeah, like, not, give it a couple no. years, he gets a bunch of chips might, and shit. He might. Yeah. He might. Even if he don't win no chips, you can still be better. Chris Paul don't got that's no true. chips. That's true. He's better all-time point guard than Rajon Rondo. That's true. That's true. You're right. In game show news, Pat Sajak retired from hosting the Wheel of Fortune, and Ryan Seacrest has just been announced as his replacement. I want to say round of applause. Let me hit the little button for Ryan Seacrest <laughs> taking every job available. Head ass. Let's get a round of applause for him for the privilege coming through yet again. Did he take Vanna White with him? Did he take Vanna White? Uh, I'm not sure if Vanna White is still a part. She is. She is. She said she wanted. I read an article where she said that she wanted. She half, wants. She wants more pay. More she money, wants at yeah. least half of what Pat Sajak was receiving, and he was receiving fifteen, 15 million. a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something, Vanna. Hey, Vanna. Yo, we gonna bring. You ain't said a word in about nineteen years. Yeah, if Jeff Van Gundy say, could go, then, nigga, then you gotta go too. <laughs> All you do is spend letters. Hey, fam. Uh, and actually, someone else I think does that. I think it's a screen now. So uh, she just. She. No diminish her role. She's lit. She is lit. She's an icon. She's yes. an icon. She's associated with the show just she as is. much as Pat Sajak was. Yes. No doubt. She right. hasn't had a raise since then. It was been, been like eighteen years. Oh, and I think that's her fault. Yeah, they should pay. It is. No, I'm, I'm not saying it should be. That's your fault. You let that go. If you, if you were there for 18 years without a, a one dollar raise, mm. if you think you gonna go and get a 7.5 million dollar raise at the end when when Big Boy just left the building, Pat Sajak left. <laughs> okay, we gotta we gotta redefine what the show That's is now. I don't know that Ryan Seacrest is getting the same thing that Pat Sajak got. Uh, not just that, Vanna ain't Vanna. What do you mean by that? Hey, man. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but what do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't want no songs, man. Wait, hold up a minute. <laughs> like, expound. No, shit ain't sitting the way it was. Look, what, wasn't I sitting? Nothing. She old, nigga, say it. How old is she? 70? I don't know. She got. She up there. All right, yo. She got to be She's 66. Can, can I'm out there looking up. 66, 66 years, years old. old. No, you just argued. They looked it up. 66. At one point in time, Vanna White was looked at as, as a, the best, a sex the symbol. greatest white girl. A sex yes, symbol. Yes, A supermodel. The great white. Right? She was great a great white, white at one ne- point. Yes. Nelly put her in the song. <laughs> oh, that confirms it. <laughs> that solidifies uh, things. Yo, okay. You ain't it no more. So no, I'm not going to give you 7.5 damn, when ish. I could go get um, Prince X wife. So you shouldn't get Bring paid right whatever you think your value is based on the time you've been there, but it should be more so based on how you look aesthetically after your tenure. No, I think that your your looks played a part in your value. And oh, when that's your true. looks no, no. started to diminish, right. your value diminished with it. Oh, no, that's dead ass. Mel, what do you think about that? <laughs> she don't like that shit at all. <laughs> the at best, all. Zero. <laughs> Joe is the best. She should have been building you, her brand out. Mark! You disagree? <laughs> oh. I'm not... I, I think... Yeah, no. Yeah. No, I don't agree with you. Okay. I don't agree with Explain. you. Explain. I just, she's Vanna White. She is iconic. She, we're not going to, we're not, sure, she doesn't look like she looked when she was 25 years old, but she spins letters on the show. 
they you want to keep some kind of recognition with the show if their major their host Pat Sajak is leaving. You want to keep Vanna White there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ice. Do you think it's no, so hard for them to come in there and get somebody else to spin letters on the show? No, I don't think to that go what get she a does. fire. Beautiful new young hottie to come in there. Get that old bitch out of there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and spin letters. I think the optics would look fucking insane if they got rid of Van and Van one more, White one right more now. Question. One more question. Oh, All right. Wait, wait, one more question. Wait, wait, wait. One more question. One more question. No, one more question. Man, one, more question. Hold on, hold on. one more question. Please. Man, what? Oh, Pat shit. just left. Mm -hmm. We doing a whole new regime. This is a rebrand. Yes. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. We want to appeal to. You know, we, we went and got Ryan Seacrest A younger Seacrest demographic, for a right? How old is Ryan Seacrest, by the way? Probably 40 something. 40 something. Yeah, so no, no, he, please Google it. I'm about to. Yeah, oh, please she, Google she it. she's in her bag. Yeah. I just want to. All right. Mm -hmm. We got, got him it. at uh, 48. He's 48. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So now. So keep going. But Let's he's known by a younger demographic, yes? Sure. <sighs> Yes or no? I mean, everybody knows. Everybody knows Ryan Seacrest. So there's people who are 70 that know Ryan Seacrest. You know the, what I mean? Like the he's younger a, demographic, do they know Pat Sajak like that? If they watch Wheel of Fortune, then yes, they are aware of I'm who he is. I'm asking the names. I'm just saying, do they know Pat Sajak like that or would, do they know the name Ryan Seacrest? I legit can't really answer that question because I no, don't no, ask, no, I haven't asked the okay. younger demographic, do you know who Pat Sajak okay, is? Okay, so yeah. let's play. Okay. Stay there, stay there. Oh, right, so if the young generation don't know Pat Sajak, it's pretty safe to say they don't know who the fuck Vanna White is. Oh, so her cachet that she once had for the Wheel of Fortune uh, demo and the young people that you're trying to lure to Wheel of Fortune is out the window. Man, they better go hire Bernice. <laughs> <laughs> go get dry. I don't think Bernice take that gift for $3 million. You don't think so? I, I definitely. I, I'm going to repeat, <laughs> since Ish is doing some weird shit with his leg and hat, and you <laughs> said, I don't think Bernice Burgos, longtime girlfriend now of Jalen Brown, is going to take a Wheel of Fortune job for $3 million a year. To that, you and Antoine say what? I think oh, right. I didn't know what, uh, anything about her personal life and what her well, finances now you do. were. Okay. Well, now um, you do. I don't know how much money well, she makes. I know she's been out here hustling for a long time. Shout to her. I mean, um, three million and, and a year to, to, to and flip And I think letters, to be on Channel on 7 getting three million dollars. Yes. I yeah, think no, I think I'm, day. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add Melissa, that Melissa, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat okay. and deal with this Vanna White issue. Boy, you good, boy. Boy, you good. I want to hear that. Can somebody show me a picture of what Van White looks like right now? She looked like a 66 year old <laughs> white, five woman. foot nine, five foot ten white lady. Yeah. You have the five. Wait, but why did it well, look? Why did it look manner now? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, we gotta. Okay. Colorist. Okay. Putting on my executive hat. I'm probably gonna want to go younger. I'm probably going to want to say, Vanna, this is your last year and we're going to do a total rebrand. I'm going to say that. I'm going, as an executive, I'm probably, but what that's if, probably going to be the mandate and, and everybody's going to be like. So as executive, yeah. you'll deal with whatever the optics are of that. Gonna, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. As, as an executive, that will probably be the decision that's made. And you're right. She should have asked for more money a lot, a w 18 years, you should have done it. At, there's so many different points in which you could have done it. Asking for more money now. Mm. It ain't even more money. It's $7.5 million a year more money. No, I, I, I'm here. We could damn near go get a, ha a whole new cast for $7.5 million. Well, there's really only two people. It's... It's the host. I'm talking about the camera niggas and all that. <laughs> Studio audience, yeah, yeah. pay all you niggas yeah. to come in. A new board with the new wheel. <laughs> $7.5 million. Yeah. Well, it's a man, The funny it, shit, yeah. if I was working over there, because I'm petty, like, I would deal with the optics by saying, Ben White has chosen to stand with the writers. <laughs> 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 I mean, she does write. So, uh, like, what's in the little cubes? She spells it. Slaps me. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> the writer. We don't know how Vanna White voice sound. She ain't say shit my whole life. <laughs> oh, man. She, she did used to look good, though. She did. She's threatening to quit. 
She, I just read it. She said she's threatening to quit. She could be like the Wheel of Fortune house mom now. <laughs> you up one twenty? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Right. Poor Vanna. What you think? They, what you think they? Poor her walking in there saying, "Yo, I'm gonna quit if y'all don't pay me this money." Them niggas probably <laughs> laughing at like, "Get your ass out of here! Get your ass out of here, man!" I don't feel bad about it because men lose value as they age too. Yeah, but, but it ain't just a, a woman thing. But we want, we, you know, come on, Joe. We want the woman to make some money. She been there. I do. You know what I'm saying? We want her to make some money. I do. Oh, I don't care about that. And I'm you just telling you that about Vanna White making money. Just, just Why not? Because you was at the same gig with the same pay and didn't do nothing about it. You stayed on mute. So now, you, now you've picked a bad time to try to... What if my beef is with Ryan Seacrest. We, we unpacking this. I bet. I, but, Ryan. but Ryan Seacrest won't let no Black other young. white person get a job. Forget white. <laughs> or black. Forget white. Well, How, we was, in America. Nah. There's so many... <laughs> it's not Ryan people. Seacrest that's stopping us from the job. <laughs> <laughs> affirmative action. The fuck is wrong? Yeah. 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 Ryan Yo, Seacrest. Oh, man. He, he affirmative action. Him and, him and Nick Cannon. Yeah, they running exactly. Neck yeah, neck. They're running it up. Nick Cannon and Ryan Seacrest is... Is what? Step brothers. No, the fuck they ain't. Damn niggas is running, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's the Sheesh. problem. That's the problem. No, the fuck they are not. Yeah, all right. And that's the problem. Okay. They ain't no <laughs> at all. Like, separation there. I'm sure Nick is mad about that. Not the Nick. Friend of the show. Brian Seacrest, fuck out of here, man. <laughs> My man, but you got to give somebody else a job. Yeah, there was so many lists going around of people that, you know, oh, yeah, comedians. Different. Like, there's a whole... Oh, yeah. it's, they shouldn't be... It's No, no. It's tell, very different. Tell you, since he's telling me. 450. Ryan Seacrest. To, like, 50. Very different. We got a conversation off mic. It's cool. Okay. Why we got to have it off mic? If you're wrong on air, then just own it. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> Who has the 450, Nick? Uh, I'm trying to do it. So, because I don't do it, you shouldn't do it? Ryan Seacrest. No, I'm <laughs> saying, don't give advice when you, you're older than take. me. <laughs> I just gave that advice. I, no, you told no, I me... Said, I ain't saying nothing. You said, yo, you got to own it. They're still not going. What's 450 and 50? <laughs> one is worth 450. Mm -hmm. and part, one is part of that. Well, yeah, of course, you know. And who, who worth 50? Nick. Who you think? If you think Nick Cannon is worth $50 million, you ought to If saying. you think Ryan Seacrest is worth 450, you ought I, I agree with both. I'm agreeing with both. So Ryan it's lower, Nick no, is higher. No, Ryan is higher and Nick is oh, higher. They're both high. They are both high. They're both high. Mm. If you think Nick Cannon is worth $50 million, you ought to have fucking mind. That's insulting right there. Saying somebody's worth fifty million dollars. Saying Nick insulting. Cannon is worth fifty Cannon. million dollars yeah. is insulting. I'm not gonna throw that word out. The insulting, <laughs> like it's like it's a slap in the face. It is. It's, it's, if you're worth one hundred and fifty million, and somebody says, you know, there's records that say you're worth four hundred million, and somebody says, are you insulted? 50. I feel like you might be insulted. I'm happy. No, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm super I happy, and yeah. I think no, what you're saying high. is some nigga shit. I, yeah, I don't stop, want. I, I don't want that shit, huh? Stop, yo. Attack stop. me. Stop. I don't want to attack you. I'm just telling you to stop. You're my man. I, don't I think this you. is nigga shit. What we talking about? No, you don't. Yeah, you don't. No, you don't. I'm I telling do. you, I do. You don't, though. I'm telling you, you don't. All right, then respond one more. Now, how? All because. Right, why are you saying uh, that? Oh, go ahead. Tell me the morning. I was gonna say because, like, when you sat in here and had acting here before, you made sure that he was putting respect on your name on the high list of what you make versus See, everybody else. I disagree with that. I think I crack a whole lot of jokes and never reveal to him where I should be on that True. list. And then he came in here the other day and you still reiterated, yo, so did your list change now, nigga? And you looked uh, but up. But I didn't try to get him to, nor was I mad about that being it. It was like joke. I didn't say angry. If I made $150 million and it was reported I made 50, I'm, I'm pleased at that. I'm, I would be trying to hide yeah, my shit again, at that, at that number. Yeah, because again, you at $150 million, so you are hopefully past what the fuck the tabloids or the gossip sites are saying at that point. Of course. You know what We're I want to do one day? We're not disagreeing. You know what I want to do? Just for shits and giggles. I do want to hit one of my journal journalist friends, like somebody that really is in that shit, mm -hmm. and report that y'all make like a few million a year and see what it does to your phone and your life. Well, don't do that, though. But don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Unless don't, I make no, a few million dollars a year, don't no, do it. No, if I no. Do make it, don't do it. No, I want to do it while you don't make it so you can see why people don't want to do it. That's annoying. I want to do that. No, well, I'm asking you. I'm, so you don't have to do that, though. No. Yo, hate to be the one to say it. Black Mirror. Eh. She's a little messy. 
Mm. A little, little bit <laughs> this year. Little Did you guys bit. watch all the episodes? I still got, no, I got, I got no. two left. I got, no. I got one left. There was a couple that was all right, but it a few of them were all right. Yeah. I haven't watched is. all of them yet. There's yeah. only five. I've seen like yeah. three. That's I saw how it four. always is. I saw four. Some are fire and some be eh. None of them was really like fire, fire though. Yeah. None of them was bad, really, but yeah. The first two was all right. The one with uh, dude from Breaking Bad was pretty cool. And then I forgot what the four. Oh, the Whatever the one where they did the horror story shit, that was kind of hard. Which one, Salma Hayek? Was that was two, I think. Number one, th- that, that was, was the first, first one. Because they that got her up on my screen ass. every day when I cut it on. That She's was right one. there on the screen. I didn't like that one too. I didn't yeah. like that one nice. either. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like the story. I like the way they. I like the way they twisted it. I like the message. I hated that episode. Yeah, yeah. That episode mm. was trash. The message was like, oh, that's what y'all was trying to do. Uh-huh. Terms and conditions, really? Right. Yeah. What the fuck. And uh, you know what else was similar to that first episode of Black Mirror for me? Class of 09 and how they, <laughs> Class of 09 ended. A little disappointed. Really? A little disappointed. Yeah, hell Why? yeah. Why? I really didn't like the whole last episode. But I'm saying, what, what had you disappointed though? Like, I think they tied it up. They didn't leave it like a, so it's a limited series. It's they, not. No, it's eight episodes. No, no. Okay, it and it's not. I think. Go on. I think it would have benefited them to be ten episodes. I think that after episode six, with the way episode six ended, with uh, I want to say it's the big explosion. Spoiler alert. Seven and eight, how they quickly closed up the war between what do you call the machines that predict the crime. That, that AI, whatever that, that whatever that yeah. is, versus the class of 09 and trying to stop it, it 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 was too too fast. It did go quick, too rushed, and they got right to it. This whole show was great because of the story and character development, and at the end they kind of just. So it's over. The show's done. Well, I don't know. If this I don't is know a, how they. There how might be a this. second. Season. My girl trying to get me to watch it. It's it's a great and y'all show. Said it was great. So I said, I'll but watch the it. last two episodes they just didn't end it. With the oomph that they started with is all. I just started on, well, it's only two episodes out right now. Um, the next one comes out, it's, it's weekly. Uh, Hijack on Apple or Apple Plus, Apple TV Plus, whatever okay. it's called. Yeah. It's with uh, Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. And he plays a passenger on a plane. It's my man, friend of the show, and Idris Elba. The plane gets hijacked. It's like a six-hour flight from Dubai to London. Oh, I'm in that. And he, he he's like a business negotiator. Mm-hmm. And he he tells basically the dudes that take over the plane, yo, look, I don't give a fuck about nobody on here. All I care about is making sure this plane lands so I get to my family. And y'all are fucking up already, so I'm gonna help you. Oh shit. <laughs> like I see the mistakes y'all are already making. So let me help you so that this plane don't get shot the fuck down because y'all are fucking up. But mm-hmm. two episodes, you don't it, it's it's fire just out of these two. I'm gonna watch mm-hmm. I need some new shit. I've, I'm I'll not fuck watching with this. shit right I'll now. I'll check it mm-hmm. out. I'm only watching uh, Righteous Gemstones. It's ah, I gotta get back into it. Yeah, that was my shit. I gotta get back into it. Good old stupid. Um, my man is back. I saw the trailer for New Liam. Liam. Uh, it's just uh-huh. taken again, isn't it? Yeah, but Put in the car or something. Yeah, <laughs> driven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> driven. Took. It's He's in the car with his kids. Speed he mixed gets with an anonymous taken. phone call. They let him know it's a bomb in the car. We'll blow the shit up if you don't do what we say. Drive to this location. Oh, speed. speed. Oh, wait, you don't believe that I'll blow some shit up? Then they blow another some shit up in front of him. Now he's trapped. And they pin some shit on him, wrongfully accused. And now he has to try to escape and save everyone. Same exact movie. Yo, who wins the same movie award? Is it Liam Neeson or my main man, Gerard Butler? Nah, Gerard be doing Nah, Liam show. Neeson is the same movie. movie. Same movie. I've never Liam seen him in anything else. Gerard Butler. <laughs> Gerard Butler got some range. Yeah, yeah. A little, even if it's a little bit, it's it's a little it's more than what Liam Neeson I'd love for. you to look up his movies in the last six years. I don't mean 300 and all of them. Nah, don't Gerard take me Butler back to 300. A, he was in a Citizen, rom-com. Nigga. That's 2009. But you said, you, you just mean the last six years. I mean years, recently. Right? Then when he'd been on his, I need a check. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. I know he did the rom-com with... Uh, uh, he was a, a I reporter. Talk, I don't tell the people to say rom com. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What is that? Catherine Hagel, right? Oh, yeah. And it's called Retribution. No, yeah. the one with Catherine Lisa Hagel. One. I'm sorry. Oh, oh you, because, yeah, he started out like London is falling and. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, look at my man. Look at, look at Gerard Butler. I'm looking at him. Yeah, yeah, he yes. did a movie called. No, no, that's false. Hunt, into, Hunt. Yeah. You know who else is trying to be the new I'm going to do the same movie over and over guy and I hate that they're doing this to him? My nigga Thor. 
Chris Helmsworth. They got mm. hey, what I don't know what hap- is happening in Marvel, but all that extraction, extraction two. <laughs> I ain't even watched that. It, no, extraction was good. Extraction was good. Extraction but I, 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 I watched two. Extraction extraction two. two was you five. saw two? Yeah. yeah. Damn, nigga, he's a fan fan. <laughs> that shit just came out. <laughs> extraction two was fire. It you was? too? I watched that shit. Everybody man. said it was fire. Okay. Mm. Mel, are you a uh, Wes Anderson fan? Mm, yeah. Mid, a little bit. Yeah. His movies are a little kooky. Yeah, kooky. Who the fuck yeah. is Wes Anderson? Wes uh, Anderson. He's a director. Uh, yeah. The did, director uh, of Canada. Like, um, no, the. Um, <laughs> Canada Dry? The, the Budapest, uh, the Great Budapest Hotel or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> what? The Budapest Hotel. Don't worry about it. All right, cool. (laughs) Um, Chris Hemsworth did a departure from all the action extraction shit. He did that movie Spiderhead that I was talking about. He did that like last year where he plays like a, this guy who's come up with um, just new drug technology that basically can like, you know, mimic emotions and stuff like that. So. Witcher season three. What season three? The Witcher. The Witcher. Never watched it. Fire. Oh, shit. All right. I'm not hip to Witcher. Watch season one. Come on, Pox. Is it? Is lit? Yeah, you white. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> Did we get an update on Madonna being found unconscious, un- unconscious somewhere? Uh, she's. I, I heard. Is she good now? She's. She's out yeah. of the hospital, but she canceled all her tour dates or some shit. In the white news. <laughs> Wait. So that little dinner where they had the announcement it was Lil Wayne and all them there at the dinner. So that tour is canceled. Yeah, they have yeah. to push yeah. that for a little bit. Yeah. And why did they say she was unconscious? Like a bacterial, she had like a bacterial infection. infection. Yeah. yeah. What else in mm. White News Box? That was the one person that I could have guessed had a back. <laughs> you know what? Nope. Don't I would have won. It. Don't I would have won taboo. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't say that, man. Who material that girl. Bad material. Bacterial girl. <laughs> Antoine. Yo, you said Yo. it. Dumbass. You said it. I'm not that witty. <laughs> bacterial <laughs> girl. Oh, you oh shit. You guys are out of line. Y'all are terrible. No. Nah. Y'all terrible. are bad people. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mariah says she's pregnant. I don't care. I don't know. Roseanne Barr is bugging. Nope. Ain't getting me. Ain't getting me. <laughs> what did she do? I feel like we was just talking about. You get the white about, news too. Huh? Oh, you get the white news too. I get white news. <laughs> that was main news. I don't let y'all escape. What's that? The whites? I don't, the, why don't let the whites escape? I get right into that white that white white algorithm. <laughs> y'all try to sneak shit by us but we don't know because we busy tearing each other down. I want to tear some of y'all down too. What <laughs> the fuck they talk about? They said oh, Biden shit. was unconscious in bed. <laughs> what they said? Yo, they Roseanne said they tried to impeach too. my man Biden. Huh? A lot of shit going on in the white news. Roseanne was bugging. I just read. Yeah. <laughs> she went, she she went, went crazy. Asian. You two. T- <laughs> for real. She bugged out. She's still bugging out. She's been bugging out for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. You two took an episode down, a podcast episode. Nah, she bugged out for, for me. hate speech yeah. violation. I can't, I can't even say what the fuck she was doing. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. She went really crazy. I'm cool. You heard it? You listened to it? Yeah, I'm leaving this. Yeah, we should walk away from I'm leaving what this. she said. I like, I like monetizing things. Salute. <laughs> Salute. I like monetization, yo. Like, when you say things that get you demonetized, that I'm not a fan. <laughs> that should be yellow. That should be red. <laughs> yo, yo, I love when you creators call me and be like, yo, who the fuck is Quarter Lab? They keep spamming my shit and say I can't make any money and take my shit. It's like, yeah, no, you can't just post what you want to post. Oh, you niggas be mad when they get demonetized. Uh, what I got for y'all? What I got for y'all? Uh, oh, I'm saving this for uh, Patreon. Uh, Davido, my nigga. That's my man. <laughs> See, y'all don't even know the Davido. I don't know. I don't know. He's You're right. got a couple of girls pregnant right now at the same time. At the same time? Yeah. Davido. I think one of them is a porn like star a as well. Huge, huge, huge like international. Yeah. Yeah. Afrobeat star, yeah. And, and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get a couple of pregnant too. And yeah. of course, the black girls got him under fire because his baby just, he had a baby that died right. like a year ago. Mm-hmm. So they think it's too soon to have babies. <laughs> what? Well, and it's not just that. And you cheated. You're married. <laughs> Let me. He's married. Yeah. Okay. Or he's with someone. All right. Okay. Thoughts and prayers. That, so who that, that who fan, your thoughts what? and prayers? <laughs> Y'all niggas so just thoughts and prayers to... No, but seriously, like, what do you expect a man to do? Well, he's married, so there's that. That's what they want him to do, like, be married. What is he supposed to do? Be married? We don't know what their arrangement is, though. Okay. 
We'll get, we we'll get to it on we the don't. Yeah. All right. Uh, I meant to get to this last part. Uh, Larsa Pippen has half of Scotty's retirement. City boys. <laughs> city boys, man. Yeah, they ass whipped. <laughs> it's tough out here for the city boys. Those are sledgehammer shots. <laughs> if she get half his retirement, it got to be about $79 there. A little bit. A little something, something. And they ain't make no real money playing. Get your ass out of here. Shit. I don't think she got too much money. Nah, he, he got paid. The nigga, she getting about $4 million. <laughs> the fuck? They just won't say that. If she was getting some whopping sum, the, the article would say, Larsa jacked this nigga for about 40 M's. 30, it would say it. It wouldn't say, oh, half his retirement. Yeah, we know. We know. His, um, his highest salary was $19 million in one year. It was his highest salary in uh, 2003. But oh, I don't care. I want to. No, I'm just saying. But I just rather joke about him. I don't, I don't want to get it right. Shit, uh, man. Well, you think he ain't spend none of it? You think he didn't spend none? <sighs> she wasn't shooting in the gym, Joe. She ain't supposed to get that nigga spanky. And she out wait, fucking with nothing. Wait, 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 wait. You think she's not supposed to get it? No, Speak. What, what, tell me what you think. No, I'm on your little stupid foot. I'm telling you that. <laughs> How long they been divorced? I don't know. It's been a minute. Yeah. And if he getting a pension or something and she getting half of his spanky, that's disgusting. Why? Uh, one, he's still living. So oh, that's a good reason. <laughs> Bro, he is. He's alive. Stupid, yeah. <laughs> what else? Two. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. Never mind. Move on, bro. Never mind. And they let Vince Carter go too. God damn. Oh, they still <laughs> oh, they still going. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they making they, they I'm with y'all. That's the Pat McAfee deal. Mm-hmm. It's definitely the yeah, Pat yeah, McAfee yeah. deal. The, the more yeah. I don't uh, think I don't see nothing else. I don't have nothing else that I'm dying to get off my chest here. Oh, lastly in sports, uh Kyrie has said that he will meet with Phoenix. Reactions? Mm-hmm. Stupid. On whose part? Um, Phoenix. To even entertain it. It's dumb. Shit. Okay. Got at least. Let me gear this. What do y'all think a team of Kyrie Irving, Bradley Bill, Devin Booker, <laughs> Kevin Durant, and DeAndre Aiden, how do you think that team will perform? S- scary on paper, but I, think, uh, I don't think there's enough balls. I don't even think they're going to play together if that were to yeah. happen. I think they win 40 games. Tops. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, I don't know about okay. that. I don't even okay. think they're all. Play- if, if that happens, they're okay. not. They won't see a full okay. season together. Okay. We'll just see a half a season together. Um, SK Dub nineteen says, "I was having a debate about who Avant could battle in a versus. As have I, uh, SK Dub. Avant is a really tough matchup for someone." Uh, I say he could give genuine a battle. I'm not saying he'd win, That's but I believe he has smashes that people don't think about until they hear them. I agree with that part. If not that battle, then who do you think he could get? He could battle that would be good for versus. That's from SK Dub 19, part of the show. Uh, I don't think that should be genuine. Me either. Leave genuine alone. Alone. Let him keep falling off stages. <laughs> Don't give him a reason to learn how to not fall off the stage. Leave him where he be. Don't make him anxious. Yo, what think, was the last verses? I think it's been, about this day. it's been a while. It's been a minute. It's been a while, and I'd like to hear more. We're getting close to September, so yeah. if JD versus Puff is going to happen, we still haven't really. Heard I want to hear a little more announcement about that. About it, I wouldn't mind seeing. They be liking to stick. Keep the generations close, but Tank. No. Never. Tank smokes his boost though. That's why you shouldn't do it. We're trying to be uh Competitive. class friendly. Class friendly. You know what Joe? No, no. no Joe and will no, smoke his fucking no, and okay. No, okay. And okay. no. And no and no. no. Okay. I, yeah, I don't I'm not no disrespect to the gentleman. I just don't know twenty songs of his that would even go over well in a verses. I don't matter. If you're talking about Avant, you're talking about probably a 10, 10 strong record. Gotcha. Um, he could round off the other 10, but you're talking about 10 extremely strong records. Yeah, see, I don't know anybody that. I'd do an Avant against like a Jeremiah. And that I'm just freestyling, mm. but. Who? Jaheim. Jaheim. Avant versus Jaheim. Why would Jaheim want to do that? 
And that's big jersey, but that's not a bad matchup. That ain't a bad gonna, matchup. That's not a bad that matchup. That ain't a bad matchup. Jaheim gonna go on crying, but. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. You disagree with what? He probably cry in the bathroom, right? No, I By think the time he go I home, he's done wins. crying. Avant when, and. Wait, you think Jaheim wins what? The versus. Against who? Avant. Avant. Is there another Avant? No, that same one. You two E? I think so too. Wait, you two what? I, I don't need to look at no catalog. <laughs> Yo, look, at, look at his face. I thought. Oh, yeah, nah. Could I'm, you, I'm over here looking. Are y'all, are y'all Jaheim. Jaheim well, wins. what are you looking at? Explain. You think Jaheim I just wins up. or he loses? No, he wins. He Go wins. through it. Uh, I'm just looking at, uh, I just put up the essentials just mm-hmm. to see. Mm-hmm. And just looking at these, could it be anything just in case? Put that woman first, diamond in the rough, ghetto love, I've changed. It's over. I'm. That nigga, that nigga gets washed if he steps to Avant. Avant. Now that you read, now that you read that for me, I have him getting cleaned if he sees Avant, and that hurts me to say. But I think y'all have y'all need to go look up Avant's catalog. I'm, I'm looked, I looked at his, I looked at both of their so read Avant essentials. Read um, Avant and essentials. I don't really like, but I mean in this instance, it's a gauge though. Yeah, that's how I use it as a gauge because you don't. It ain't really the deep cuts for verses. Uh, can we fall in love? Read your mind. Making good love. Separate it. Take it slow. My first love. Lie about us. Want to be close? Worth it. When it hurts, four minutes. Don't take your love away. Don't say no. Just say yes. He's cleaning him. He I, is absolutely cleaning Jaheim. I don't think bad. So. Well, that's a good versus. Bad. I disagree. Bad good. and bad. I'm not mad at that versus. Bad and bad. What does Jaheim play when this comes on? Somebody answer Nothing. me. Nothing. This is a podcast. Somebody he, answer he, me. He yeah. I'm looking. He gets a point. <laughs> All right, forget yeah. it. <laughs> All right, forget gets it. a point. When you got a heavy hit of record, I mean, it's some shit just, that's, uh, yeah. He, he got that. Oh, man. He got that. Uh, a lot of people have no idea just how many records Avon has, and he has a lot. Okay, I got He one. has a lot more known, big, sing-along records than Jaheem. Okay. Huh? Tyrese? No, Tyrese is in a different league. Okay. He's in a different league. That's the name I was thinking. What do y'all play for I'm this? Not. What do y'all play for this with Giant? Uh, he got something like he, he I'm asking, of, yeah. I'm asking I don't, I'm, y'all to tell me of. Got his catalog pulled up in front of me, but this don't hit like that Kiki Wise shit. Of course not, because that's one of the. All right. that's, that's one of, songs but this is one of them. Quiet over there. E, you missed the R&B. Come on, give me some. Huh? Put that woman first. He if you if you that. are you are playing, play put that woman he don't first. Have to play that. Then give me the record you play. Finding my way back. Oh, it's over. I, I it's over. I will. It's over. Oh, baseline. Do 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at they quiet. They just they just just vibe. I ain't the R and B nigga. I'm what? just I'm just looking at songs. What are you playing, Joe? Everybody don't got a laptop in front of them with a list of the nigga songs. Oh my God, yeah. Don't tell me nothing again about Jaheim. I don't want to hear. And that's my man, Big Jersey. Shout to Jaheim, but wrong, yeah. wrong, bad, bad. Uh oh. What about music Uh-oh. soul child? Uh oh. No, none of them want to see our music soul child. Joe just played three of this dude's biggest hits. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. I got way bigger hits than that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't have three bigger hits than the three you just played. Oh, my God. What is wrong with this guy? It's cool, though. He might have maybe a hit or two left. He don't got 10 hits. You couldn't be more wrong. He don't have 10 hits. I'm still going, though. (laughs) You on on four? I'm just still going. You not on one is the issue. (laughs) I don't have a laptop in front of me. I know, they're going to want to go something. It's electronic somewhere. (laughs) Slow down, slow down, slow down. Uh Uh-uh. Putting the argument. Uh Ah, give me, baby, come back. Baby, girl. (laughs) Like when girls hear this stuff. You know. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Yo. All right. Amani, you stick to this? You sticking to your Jaheim pick? Are you sticking to your Jaheim? Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't can't hear you. He's busy trying to get his wife back. You pick, you sticking to your Jaheim? <laughs> you can't. Jaheim can't beat this. <laughs> he can't beat this. Yo, he can't beat this. All right, it's cool, yo. We could. Hey, I hope we answered the part of the show question, yo. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on, we can move on, man. Y'all, y'all side with me. Y'all just don't want to say it for pod purposes or 
Whatever, y'all don't fuck with me in real life. I don't know what it is. All right, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Y'all just be one to argue. Um, we, we do. Yeah. It's awesome. What else we got? I think that's it. I think that's it. Happy 4th of July weekend. Happy July 1st. Easy with them fireworks. Easy with them fireworks. But if niggas run up on your property, don't hesitate to let that Roman candle fly at them bitch ass niggas. You know what I mean? They still do that? First. Yo. Y'all stop being cheap. Go get the onions, the green peppers, mm -hmm. chop them bitches up, the ground beef, put it in your big, big thing of majiggy. In the basin. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at you with the egg. Uh, get your egg off. No, with the basin. The basin. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. Get your big yeah. shit. Get the big, big box. Use your big, hands. Big <laughs> Listen, Bubba Chef Roble and them might use the Chef Black cooking gloves. Not my nigga ass. Bare hands. Get some of yesterday's dirt up in the meat. Season it real good. That ain't just onion powder. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. No ugly plus ones. Keep your ugly friends with your ass. Take them to Dykeman. Be wherever y'all be at. Bring a bottle. Go to West Fork. And don't bring a bottle and try to take it back. If I don't crack it, you bitch ass niggas. Right. Where the this. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. So long. Goodbye. Au revoir. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Hove, I know you're working on a secret album, too. Come on. And lastly... The baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. This is what it... Mm. Grab you a towel and all you might need it. Y'all hold it down out there, stay safe, but stay dangerous. Head on a swivel at all times. Kiss your loved ones, shout out to your loved ones and their loved ones. Everybody have a real good weekend. It sound like we're John Legend supposed to come in. <laughs> Jaheim. And this is what it feels like. <laughs> they tried to take it from us. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah, Curl Fest Curl Fest is back this month too now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Curl Fest is back this month too now. We'll talk about it soon. We'll talk about it soon. I'll be there. Ego. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, go ahead and look up Curl Fest. It's cool. It's somewhere you need to be. You can tell just by the title. You probably need to be there. So how long before the next manicure? Because you went like seven months strong. Like. I think I'm going to try and maintain this. Looks pretty, right? Wait, no. It's time for a new manicure, girl. You don't like this? Girl. I just got this. It's time to do it again. It's called maintenance. I just got this. Oh, girl. No, you, I can look at your toes and tell you didn't just get it. I just got this. You just got your toes, too? Yeah. Oh, so you don't know what that means. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? You did. You did. <laughs> Who you talking to? Feet man. Oh, I'm getting the consensus. Talking to me. Oh, let me see. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. You hate them. No, they gotta get done. No, you just think you could do some shit and let it rock for like the next three months. You have to keep doing these things. Okay. You don't think so? No, I do. Like the Bob run had her. Like, like <laughs> <Hello. this, laughs> y'all don't, don't I, 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 I start. Like, oh, girl, get your back. Like, like, no. I'm on your side. She gonna have to go and get it back in blood. <laughs> like really? Ball, like no, the, really? It's like super Bob, no. no, your toes look amazing. Wow, I got it. But then, oh yeah, your shit was fucked up. But it's the, I'm talking about right now. Oh, it look good. It look good. Thank you. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? New Joe Biden.